world of sports, eh? Oh, he's copped a head right to the nuts. Tedesco's butt crack. Ahoy! He's nearly taken security's head off. I have no idea what the wasted world of sports is. <laughs> oh, excuse me. What a great start. I'm losing my voice immediately. Right, give myself a little bit more volume. That way I don't have to talk so loud. Waste of water sports, ahoy! How's everybody doing? Super Saturday, ready to commence. Warriors versus Sea Eagles should be a great game. Warriors have a tendency to race out to leads early and then fall off the boil a little bit. Will they do the same again today? Should be a cracker either way. Two teams in very good form. But I'm giving the nod to the home team. The Warriors in New Zealand should be too strong. Verti FN, ahoy there. The Warriors got this. Dolphins, ahoy mate. James Strong, ahoy. And UFC, ahoy. The early birds that have caught the worms. Here today. Welcome along. And then uh, coming up after this one, we've got, we've got the Parramatta Eels and the North Queensland Cowboys. Jimmy Lister asks if I saw Reese Walsh run into the Dolphins number 15 and then hit the ground and look like a dead rat. I did, and it was fabulous. <laughs> Absolutely fabulous. I loved every minute of it. Every second of it. Before we get going, a special shout out, as always, to the Wasted World of Sports All-Stars squad. James, Quentin Paul, Justo the Orchestrator, The Knee Crumbler, Sports Vault AU, Rod, Richard J, Dustin Fisher, Hoosier Caddy, J. Joe, uh, Gamer Mel, did I say Hoosier Caddy? I think I did. Casper, Guri, Mr. Ed's Dead, Vobsy, Dan Jam, Robert M., Kelly, DJ Shack, and Defunk for clicking that join button and becoming a Waste of World of Sports All-Stars members. Not expected, but very much appreciated. Cheers to my squad there. Looking very stacked. Lots of warriors in there. Can't help but notice. Quite a few warriors. Only one Newcastle. One tiger. Interesting, interesting. <laughs> and the random, the random Wigan warrior, but also a warrior nonetheless. J. Joe, ahoy mate. Right, so, three legs on this game. Oh, where are they? They're not there. Come on, Dan, get with the program, mate. There they are. Three legs. Mr. Soul Glow himself, DWZ, CNK, and Cola for Manly. Three legs, anytime try scorers. Let's get this done. Let's get our first win of the year. I can't believe it's round six and we still haven't, we still haven't got a victory yet. It's got to happen today. It's not a very big payout. It's only $150. Much, much less than my standard $1,000 multis that I go for. But I thought if I just rein it in a little bit. Rein it in. Go for something a little bit more realistic. Just so that we can get a win. Jimmy Lister is predicting the Warriors 48 points to 8. God, that's going to be a, a smashing. I say Warriors with the first two tries. Racing out to a 10, 12 point lead. Manly to come back at them. And then uh, at the end there, the Warriors just hold on. The knee crumbler, ahoy mate. 
24 18 to the Warriors, I think uh, a little bit more realistic of a prediction. <laughs> you put $100 on them. Bam. Very nice. Doing very well, thanks, the knee crumbler. Game starts soon. Indeed, it does. Ten minutes. Ten minutes to go until kickoff in the first game. And, yeah, the next one coming up after this, the Eels versus the Cowboys. It's actually a tough one to predict. I've gone with the Cowboys, but I've gone with the Cowboys with very little confidence. Yes, the Eels have been struggling shall we say, struggling for form without Mitchell Moses. But the Cowboys, they have a tendency to leak tries. So I picked them with very little confidence. But the, the way that the Eels are going, difficult, difficult to pick the Eels in any capacity in the game coming up after this one. We'll see how it goes, though. Warriors paying a dollar forty-six for this game. A dollar forty-six. Manly two dollars seventy-one. I wonder what the line is. Manly are ridiculously rank outsiders in this contest. I'm curious to know what line they've given them because there could be some opportunity there. Let's see. The line is. Only six and a half. All right. Well, you know what it is. It's it's the Warriors fans jumping on board. That's what I think it is. It's the Warriors supporters jumping on, getting behind their team. It's skewing the odds. You chose the Warriors for your foreleg, but hedged with a sneaky manly... Get 12 plus points each half. Manly to get 12 plus points each half. James Strong, six and a half. Yep, six and a half. That is indeed the, the line. So the line suggests that it should be a close game. But the betting odds suggest... A runaway win for the Warriors. But of course, you should never let odds dictate your predictions. That's for sure, because things are so easily skewed. I remember there was uh, a time in, I want to say it was 20, uh, it was 2007, I think, the 2007 World Cup, Rugby World Cup. Yikes, ahoy there, go Warriors, all the way to Rimutaka Rangers. Hamish is playing poker on a train in the middle of the desert. Nice, are you winning? Winning some good coin? The Rugby World Cup, anyway, yeah. Australia with the Australian bookmakers. Ridiculously low priced to win the tournament. Rafael Muta, ahoy there. Your tip, Warriors and Cowboys. Hang on, you've lost a BP. A you mean you bet a service station in a hand of poker? Which one? The one just down the road? Oh, Blueprint. I was going to say, I didn't know you owned the BP down the corner. A Blueprint for nuclear arms.
probably. James Strong says Sharks, Tigers and Raiders the rest of the weekend as well. <sighs> Tigers and Dragons, I'm, t I'm torn on as well. Dragons have a tendency to be up one week, down the next. This, Judging by that, this would be their week to be up. So that's a tough one. That's probably, in my opinion, the toughest one to call all weekend. Daily dose of sport, ahoy! Probably the hardest one, probably the most genuine 50-50 call of the weekend, that one. And in all honesty, in all honesty, as unbackable as the Titans are at the moment, don't be surprised if they win. And that's not even, that's not even uh, a crack at the Raiders. It's just that usually in the first six or seven weeks, everybody has a win, everybody has a loss. It's very unusual that somebody goes 0-6 oh or 6-0. and oh. Very unusual. Is resentful a better name? Well, it depends what you're aiming for. Daily Dose of Sport. Um, resentful for Life was a fantastic username from a purely from a, a streamer's perspective it was a fun one to call out resentful for life and it stood out from the crowd in that respect but if you're if you're looking to build a youtube channel of your own and you're doing sporting content daily dose of sport is a much better name than resentful for life so it really depends what you're looking to achieve with your branding there. That's my two cents. If you're going to be doing content of your own, Daily Dose of Sport, it is. If you're just chatting, not really uploading videos of your own, Resentful for Life, 100, all the way. Hopefully that's been helpful. Oh, UFC, you've been considering changing yours from USC only fans to NRL only fans. It would make sense based on the content that you've been doing at the moment. Hey, Mesh, you just won all your things back. Nice, mate. Nice. I'll drink to that. Quentin Paul, ahoy, mate. How are you doing? Warriors 13 plus. It's the Daily Dose of Sport. Andy, ahoy there. Go the NRL. <laughs> Andy doesn't care who wins. Footy's the winner today. Dolphins, you're eating beer. Do I want to have a tease? How does one eat beer? I'm very curious. I know somebody who used to freeze wine it'd be like a popsicle a wine popsicle but i still wouldn't uh, consider that eating beer battered steak perhaps amish but then you're eating the steak aren't you when things are beer battered, it is such a low, low content. <laughs> Daily Dose has got RTS, ATS. Well, I've got Soul Glow, CNK, and Coca Cola. Go on the Dodgers for the win. I've got, in the baseball, I've got, because I'll, I'll tell you who let me down, the Houston Astros let me down. I've got Yankees, Twins, Mets, Blue Jays, Phillies, Orioles, Nationals, and Braves. $1 stake, $80 payout. Fingers crossed.
Here we, here we go. Roger, Tua versus Sheck. Oh, let's not forget that. Game number 200 for Roger, Tua versus Sheck. The Warriors are going to lift for RTS. Warriors at home. Game number 200 for RTS. Give them the win now. There's Nickel Klockstad. Anytime try scorer. Let's get that done. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Referee. Is that Chris Butler? This guy's atrocious. All right. Keep an eye on that, I suppose. Sean Johnson and Cherry Evans. The face-off, the Battle of the Sevens. Underway we go. And it's the Warriors with first use of the ball. Big defense from Manly. Driving the Warriors backwards. If it is indeed Chris Butler, he reminds me, if there's any Red Dwarf fans, <laughs> there's an episode where Crichton, the android, becomes human. Looks exactly like Chris Butler. The resemblance is uncanny. Johnson kicks early on tackle four into the corner from inside the 40. He's got fantastic angle on it. Tommy Turbo just collects it a step inside the touchline. Great start that from the Warriors. The early kick taking everyone by surprise. Very nearly. Very nearly getting a result. You're missing an important documents folder. How do you find lost items on a Mac? No idea. <laughs> on Windows, I could tell you in a heartbeat. On Apple, I'm sorry. No idea. Aoli Source with the hit up. Fifth and last now for Manly. Cherry Evans kicks for the corner. Oh, they've let it bounce here. The Warriors are awkward. You've got to attack that ball. Nickel Klockstadt, CNK. Move forward. Attack that ball. Attack it like you want it. You know that Apple purposely... I, this is a little bit of a conspiracy theory, I suppose. But... You know why Apple make their stuff so difficult to use, so difficult to navigate and everything? You know why they do that, right? So that you go into those bloody little Apple stores. You have no choice but to go into those little Apple stores and pay for support. Johnson gets the kick up. Perfectly placed again, and it's Tommy Talao who takes it on the full. They've got Manly pinned down here, though which is a perfect start for the Warriors. In fairness though, as much as I, as much as I just say it as a negative, from a business perspective, in fairness, it's smart business. I can't fault them for that. Fifth and last again, Manly, stuck in their own end. Scott Beardsley, ahoy mate. From inside the 40, DCE, high, straight down the middle of the ground. And there is Mr. Soul Glow himself. Wateni Zelezniak brings it up for the Warriors. Both teams going set for set at the moment, completing at 100%. And there's the first error of the game. And it's Roger Tuavasa Shek. That was so bad, he doesn't even deserve being called RTS. He gets full name treatment after that one. Butterfingers Jones, down it goes. Oh, that's a huge mistake. 
Leo, Francis, Royko, ahoy there, mate. How are we doing? On game number 200, RTS. Big fumble. From the scrum, Manly. A goal and opportunity here to strike first. Paseca stands in a three-man tackle. What do we think about Wade Egan for origin duty? The reason I'm not completely convinced is because it was Freddie and Andrew Johns who were discussing it. And we all know how atrocious Freddie was at selecting origin teams. So anyone he says, I'm a little bit nervous about. This one's been knocked on by Manly, surely. Play on, says the referee. And Manly, they love getting away with knock-ons, don't they? Fifth and last, 15 out from the line in front of the posts. Brooks down the left-hand side, dummies and gets tackled. Oh, that was a poor, poor fifth tackle option. They would want their time over. Brooksy, what was that all about? J. Joe asks who's the Blues coach this year. Michael Maguire, former New Zealand international coach. Oh, that's forward from Sean Johnson. <laughs> now they get away with it. Oh, the standard of refereeing. Oh, well, I told you, it's, it's Chris Butler. We shouldn't be shocked. I'm pretty sure that's his name. Harris, out the back of shape here. Martin to Tuovalsa Shek. He's got a lot to make up for. Fifth and last, just inside Manly's territory. Martin across to Johnson in midfield, puts it high. Not a lot of distance, but that allows the kick chase to put pressure on. And Tommy Talao does well, but he's now picked up and driven backwards. Justin Karam, ahoy there, mate. Warriors Graveyard, listening from Copex, East New Britain, Province, PNG. Maguire, the old Tigers coach, yeah. Tigers coach, New Zealand international coach. That's the one. Ben Trebojevic playing in the centres today. That'll be interesting. Jake Trebojevic this time. Trebojevic is a Russ. The Manly team, fifth and last. Cherry Evans once again kicking from well inside their own half. Manly. The Warriors winning the battle of the field position at the moment. Seven minutes gone. Neither team with anything to show for it, though. Just feeling each other out. Having a nice little touchy-feely. And James Strong says, this is going to be the silliest question in the world, but forgive me for being a rugby novice. What is a knock-on? When a player... When a player touches the ball and drops it in a forward motion, you're not allowed to do that. Through the hands now, that's been tapped out by Manly. So in, in NFL, in the, in the American football, you know, the ball goes on the ground and it's like a... <laughs> it's like stacks on and the ball spills out everywhere, everywhere, and it's play on until somebody dives on it and secures it. If it goes forward in rugby league, you're not allowed to do that. Here's a chance now for the Warriors. SS Stormfam. Ahoy. Oh, no. They've got the fumbles today, the Warriors, on tackle one. A dropped ball. Was that Jackson Ford or Mitchell Barnett? Turn around, mate. It was Jackson Ford on tackle one. They've spilt the ball. Knock on. Change of possession. It's a different James. 
James Strong is not um, moderator James. We've got James is out the wazoo here. Cherry Evans down the short side. Links up with Ben Trebojevic. A little bit of space for Talao. Has to cut back in field. No, that's all right, James, James Strong. Do not change your name on account of us, mate. I know who it is. It's all that matters, really. It's straight through the middle. Manly, support on the outside from Tommy Turbo, and he just needed to give it. Corey Waddell had glue on his hands. Tom Trebojevic was in. You can't believe it. Tommy Turbo was over. Corey Waddell didn't give the pass. Fifth and last. Tommy Turbo f fires it back in field, and Cherry Evans might have a try here. Cherry Evans might have a miracle try. It's got to go up as no try, first of all, surely. He's got to send this up as no try. Cherry Evans might have stolen one here. Tommy Turbo makes the break straight through for Nua Blake and Barnett. Pops it back, and it's off Wade Egan. It's been knocked backwards by Wade Egan, and Cherry Evans dives on this and scores. Manly have got first points here, and it's DCE. They had just butchered one. A tackle before. They butchered a dead set certainty. The tackle before. And now they've come up with a miracle. Absolutely bombed a try that they should have scored, and now they've pinched one that they should never have been anywhere near. The fortune favours the brave, as they say. And Manly, four points to nil, kick to come, Cherry Evans with the try. The most unlikeliest of tries. But in fairness... They should have had one. If Corey, honestly, Corey Waddell, Corey Waddell had Tommy Turbo unmarked, racing in under the sticks to score a try if he just passed it. All he had to do was pass the ball and they would have had six points anyway, Manly. So I suppose this is just balancing out. Tohu Harris, my hair twin, having a chat to the referee. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that anybody saved the Corey try, Daily Dose of Sport, because honestly, Corey Waddell, all he had to do was pass it. He decided to hold on to it, had glue on his hands. So nobody really saved it. Corey Waddell just buggered it up. If he passes the ball, there was, there was no stopping the try. It wasn't like it was a dummy and a good defensive read by, uh, by Nickel Klockstad. Waddell just had to pass it. But anyway, it's worked out for Manly anyway. It's ended up falling their way. The craziest of tries. What a start, though, to this match. Six points to nil. Cherry Evans, six. The Warriors, nil. And most importantly, zero legs off the multi. Again. Buddy hell. Can we get some legs off my multi, please? For once. Just once. Good set of six after points here. For Manly, they take it up over halfway. Cherry Evans with the kick. Taken to the back by Nickel Klockstad. Gets away from Brooks, but he's wrapped up by Jake Trebojevic. Oh, a big run from Marcelo Montoya. Bumping off the first tackle. 
Two of Arsashek putting on some fancy footwork. And a penalty to the Warriors. Much needed. Holding down, says referee Crichton. Just looking to slow the pace down here, the Warriors. Puts the kick into touch up, up over halfway. Good field position. Twenty-seven and a half to go till the break. Got to do shots every Warriors try. All right, I can do that. Oh God, they could end up scoring quite a few though, couldn't they? Twenty meters out from the line, Johnson flat pass and knocked on, and this is killing them at the moment. The Warriors was that Jackson Ford again? These mistakes. I think it might have been Jackson Ford or Mitchell Barnett, one of the two. They've both had the dropsies. It's hard to gain any momentum when you keep dropping the ball. And now to make matters worse, they give away a penalty. The Cuban egg, ahoy. So we've got scrambled eggs and now we've got Cuban eggs. Eggs galore. It's a regular buffet, a breakfast buffet here at the Waste of World of Sports. And unfortunately for the Warriors, Ivan, well, Ivan says same issue with the Sharks game. Errors keep going. In the Sharks game, they at least had a 14-point lead. which they ultimately ended up letting go, but they don't even have the lead in this game when the errors have crept in. Not a good sign. But anyway, Manly on the attack again. Third, 25 out from the line. Brooks out on the left. Change of direction for Waddell. Waddell goes to ground with it. Jake Trebojevic out the back to Cherry Evans, who kicks on tackle four. It sits up in the end goal. Nickel Klockstadt's tackles. And that's a result. Cherry Evans controlling the game now. They're in front, and he is just pushing them into the corners, pushing them into their own end goal. It's the Cherry Evans show at the moment. Get Barnett off, says Daily Dose of Sport, as Johnson gets us underway. Short restart. Does it go the 10? It does. It's contestable. It's tapped back for the Warriors, and Fanua Blake dives on it. Fantastic work there for the Warriors. They get the ball back. Fabulous work. Barnett holds on to the ball this time. Sarcastic round of applause. Oh, Wade Egan dummies and goes straight up the middle. Still going Egan. Then he trips over just short of halfway. Tackle four. Fanua Blake just sets things up for the kick. Fifth and last. UFC says Warriors still live odd favorites. They, they, absolutely, they should be. It's only six points. Let's not forget. Only six points. That's nothing in rugby league. Talau takes it and he's picked up and driven backwards again. They're all over Talau. Twenty-three minutes fifty to go in the first half. Manly leading six nil. Aoli Source taken down by three defenders. The Cuban egg. You're a Broncos fan. Ah, you would have been very happy last night then. Fifth and last, Brooks puts it high into the corner. With Tenny Zalesniak, takes it on the full. Runs back towards midfield. 
Wrapped up by Cherry Evans. It's the Cherry Evans show at the moment. Tohu Harris is my hair twin. Daily dose of sport. Mm. Oh, we're shot in the eye. Splashback. Splashback City. Ugh. Oh, God, I haven't copped a shot in the eye for a while. I mean, what? What? <laughs> Keeping the ball alive here, the Warriors. Johnson down the right-hand side. Dummies slips through. Still going, Johnson. Gets the ball out to Soul Glow. And DWZ runs back in field. He's wrapped up. Gets the offload away. Barnett takes tackle five. 20 meters down from Manley's line. Johnson dinks it in over the top of the line. And it's been lost by Tommy Turbo. And it's picked up from the Curtis Capewell. The referee's called a penalty against the Warriors here. Oh, no. That was a... They're thinking a challenge here. They're considering a challenge. What was that penalty for? It was knocked on by Tom Trebojevic at the back. Warriors ball. But referee Crichton found a penalty here somewhere. What was the penalty for? Oh, jump at Kurt Capewell's just jumped up and not contested the ball. So that's a fair enough penalty. He should have left his arms up, Capewell. He would have got away with that, I reckon. Because he's just jumped up and not contested the ball. That'll be a penalty under the current rulings and a waste of the captain's challenge. So the penalty was for Kurt Capewell jumping, but not contesting for the ball. Just, just jumping purely to distract Tom Trebojevic. And that's why Tommy Turbo made the mistake. UFC only fam says when I was young, some dude thought that that would get him drunk. So he destroyed his eye, pouring red wine into it. There's this show. We watched this show called A Thousand Ways to Die. And uh, <laughs> it's all like the, yeah, is anyone familiar with the Darwin Awards? It's like a Darwin Awards, but, a, but it's on YouTube. A Thousand Ways to Die. And there was somebody who suffered alcohol poisoning by... Um, having somebody pour the alcohol directly up the up his chaminda vas, straight up the chaminda vas. Crazy way to go out, huh? Thirty meters out from the Warriors line, Brooks puts it high. N the Warriors let it bounce again. Dangerous stuff at Nickel Clockstat. The ball spills free here from the Warriors. Barnett dives on it. It's called a knock-on. Knock-on from Manly first, though. Warriors hold on. The entire... Both squads seem very confused at some of the rulings here by referee Crichton, but ultimately, I think he's got them right, I must say. I've got to give him the benefit of the, uh, benefit of the doubt today. He's ended up getting the calls correct. And this will be Warrior Scrum Feed, 20 out from their own line. Well, they're about 15 or so metres out from their own line. But importantly for them, they've got the ball. That's the critical part for the Warrior. They will have the ball. Nineteen and a half minutes to go in this first half. Fanua Blake up over the 40. Good run. Tohu Harris up over halfway on tackle four. This is better. Jackson Ford, fifth and last. That was a good set. Johnson, 40 out from the line, puts it high. How's the chase? It's good. Pressure on Talao. Talao does extremely well, but... 
He's swamped again. They are giving Tommy Talau no room at all to work with. Zero room. Manly leading six points to nil. Good run here from Brooksy. <laughs> Daily Dose of Sports says, Warriors never fail to fail me. It's all right. There's plenty of time left. Scott is trying to get me to ditch the stream to abuse substances with him. Good idea. Can't do both. <laughs> I'm, abusing, I'm abusing substances on the stream. Why not do both? Warriors ball once again, bringing it out of their own end. 18 minutes to go until the halftime break. It's been a tough old tussle here between both teams. Warriors up over halfway again. Fanua Blake on a big charge. Can't wait for Fanua Blake to come to the Sharks. Fifth and last, Johnson, 30 out. They're just getting closer and closer. Talao takes the ball. He's trapped again. They're giving Tommy Talao absolutely no space at all. Ben Trubojevic with the head up. Burko, thank you very much for the sub. Oh, this is a big run from Sipley. Getting some go forward for the Sea Eagles. Tommy Turbo to Brooks. They've got an overlap here out on the left and down the sideline. Tommy Talau in space for the first time tonight. Kicks in field. Cherry Evans gets a double. It is the Cherry Evans show out there at the moment. DCE 10, Warriors nil. Kick to come from right beside the post. And the Warriors are absolutely skittled at the moment. Where was the defense down this left-hand edge? One, two, three, four. Manly Sea Eagles, two Warriors. A simple draw and pass. Tommy Talau does extremely well, and it's the Cherry Evans show. Two tries for DC. Crazy. Even he can't believe it. He's like, you, you, that's all you, mate. It was on the back of that Sipley run. That's ga that one gave them the go forward. Booze around the stadium. Probably directed at their own team at the moment, to be honest. As little speckles of rain start to come down. Cherry Evans converts. It's DCE 12. Warriors nil. That was just way too easy. Where was all the Warriors defense down that right hand edge? Ah, uh, they do that UFC. <laughs> it happens. Oh, and hey, look, I've done it to people before as well, so please don't think that that was just a, a crack at, at, at uh, the female gender. We do it too. Yes, I have indeed been guilty of doing that in the past. Twelve points to nil here. Um, sometimes it's just easier UFC. It seems like now I, I obviously don't know anything about the situation. I can only speak about my situation and and why I did it. It's because the conversation, the conversation that needed to happen, the reason for me not wanting to continue, uh, 
nothing was going to get achieved by having that that chat. <laughs> so it was easier for everybody to just break away. As assholeish of a thing as it seems to do, sometimes it really is genuinely just better for everybody. <sighs> now they've spilt the ball on tackle one again. The Warriors, DWZ. You can't believe what we're seeing here. You can't believe what we're seeing. Tackle one, a dropped ball. Manly will have it 10 meters out from the Warriors line, looking to inflict more pain. This is unbelievable. This is the Warriors of old. Warriors have been getting talked up as potential top four team. Potential premiership threat. Not what they're dishing up tonight. This is the Warriors of old. Scrum down. Cherry Evans has it. Ola Kuatu to Ben Trebojevic, was it? Uh, yes, Benny Trebojevic there. Ahoy there, Leanne. How are you? S Sipley, I can tell you this. Toa Sipley has come onto the field and made a difference. Holy moly, Ola Kuatu bumps through one. Five meters out from the line now. Tackle three. They're all offside here, the Warriors, and they've been pinged. Six again. Brooks runs across the face of the defense, links up with Kohler. Kohler fights towards the line. A meter short. 13 to go till the break. Full set of six incoming. Croker to Paseca in front of the posts. Paseca's just dropped a meter short. Tackle two. They're up quickly again. The Warriors. Brooks holds up the pass for Tommy Turbo. Fires the Harbour Bridge. Cut out pass to Tommy Talau. And Tommy Talau scores. Manly extend their lead. 16 points to nil. Lots of stunned Warriors supporters sit in the grandstand watching on as their team are getting absolutely smoked at the moment. The pass was perfectly held up by Brooks. And then pinpoint accurate cutout pass, Harbour Bridge style from Tommy Turbo. And that was all she wrote. Talau in the corner. 16 points to nail the kick to come from the sideline. 12 minutes to go until the break. Where have the Warriors gone? Talk about a slow start. I was talking them up at the start of the game about how the Warriors will probably start stronger and then have a little period in the middle of the game where they drop off and let Manly back in, and then it'll be tight to finish. Once again, though, we shouldn't be shocked at this stage that everything I say, the complete and total bloody opposite happens. It's Manly who have come firing out, storming out of the gates. Cherry Evans from the sideline pushes it way, way to the right. It's 16 points to nil. It remains in favor of Manly. There's a very happy Manly supporter there, flexing muscles that he doesn't have. Leanne, your son played for Tamor Taipans today. Very nice. Versus the Ingleburn Eagles. Very cool. Did they win? Daily Dose of Sports says, unfortunately, Dan, that period is the whole game. <laughs> now, now. Now, now, Daily Dose of Sport. Obviously, it's uh, not looking good at the moment, but... They lost 5-2. What were they playing? Soccer. Quentin Paul, you cashed out your bet for the Warriors to win. There's still 50 minutes to go. I wouldn't give up hope just yet. The Warriors, we've seen, they're capable of going back to back. I mean, they could score two tries very, very quickly and be right back into this one. 
Fifth and last now for Manly. 15 from 15 completions. To the Warriors. Well, there's their first incomplete set. 15 from 16 completions for Manly, though. Compared to the Warriors, 9 from 13 is a pretty telling statistic. Ten minutes to go till the halftime break. A much-needed halftime break for the Warriors. I tell you what. They need to get into the sheds and reassess. Capewell is off. Curtis Capewell off the field. Barnett. Barnett's off the field. Yeah, probably. Probably good good thing. Nine and a half minutes to go. The Warriors look like they're just limping to the sheds here at the moment, but can they spark something? Anything. Rocco Berry with probably his first touch tonight. I don't remember calling his name. Jazz Tavanya. Some fresh legs out there on the field. Six again here for the Warriors. They get a chance. 30 meters out from the line. Tackle one. Tohu Harris out the back to Johnson. Dummies goes back in field. Johnson. 20 out from the line. Tackles up their sleeve. Golden opportunity here for the Warriors. Harris in midfield. The pass is flat across the face of the defense. Fenua Blake wasn't really expecting it. Does extremely well to hold on. Harris again to Johnson. Capewell's half a meter short. Harris in front of the post. Out the back. It goes to Martin. And now space for Montoya on the outside. Takes on Ben Trebojevic. And Ben Trebojevic wraps him up. And slides him over the sideline. The defense from Benny Trobojevic shuts that play down. Solid defense. That was just great defense there from Manly. Ben Trobojevic specifically. Daily Dose of Sports says, Dan, I bet $4,000 that Sean Johnson will blink in the next minute. Eight minutes to go till the break. One-way traffic at the moment. This has been a great performance from Manly. Ethan Bullymore's all bandaged up. Takes tackle three. This man, Sipley, cracker of a performance. The game really, really strongly turned in Manly's favor on the back of Sipley. And now Tommy Turbo almost goes through. Fifth and last, 30 out from the Warriors line. Cherry Evans kicks back towards the post. It sits up for Wateni Zelezniak, who links up with Rocco Berry. Breaks the first tackle, Berry, but then he is thumped down by Corey Waddell. Big tackle. Seven minutes till half time. DWZ tries to get the penalty for his team and does very successfully. Seven minutes to go. Can they get something on the board before half time? The kick from Sean Johnson, not into touch on the fall, but it's over the head of Tommy Talao and it bounces into touch. Lucky, lucky. The rugby gods were smiling on them that time. They get away with that. Oh, that would have been unforgivable. It would have just capped off a miserable first half performance if Sean Johnson fails to find touch there. Warriors still have a chance here. Harris to Tavanga. UFC says Scott's girlfriend's cat is listening to the stream. Can you say hello, kitty cat? Oh, dummy in and going on his own there, Wade Egan. Just short. Tackle three. Harris. Johnson. Out the back to Martin. Martin pops it up to Montoya. Montoya steps back in field early this time. Doesn't take on Ben Trebojevic on the outside. Not again. 
Tackle for Johnson to Tavanga. Looks for the offload. Can't get it. Fifth and last. Johnson in front of the post. Puts the crossfield kick in. It's a little too heavy. And it's been tapped out for some reason by Tommy Talao. He didn't really need to. I don't know why he did that. But Warriors will get the ball back. Mr. Ed's dead. Ahoy, mate. How are you doing? Five minutes to go till the halftime break. Warriors, 10 meters out from the line. Tavanga on the crash ball. What's the cat's name again? Sorry. Oh, you didn't say. You just said to say hello, kitty cat. Kitty cat. Six again for the Warriors. Johnson, dummies. He's wrapped up. His girlfriend is called Cat. I used to have a cat called Cat when I was little. My parents let me name the cat, so... Oh, Tavanga breaks through, and the Warriors are in! 16 points to four, kick to come from right in front of the post. Jazz Tavanga on the crash ball. That brings the crowd to life. Oh, his girlfriend. His girlfriend is called Cat. Okay, there you go. Jazz Tavanga on the crash ball, slides in under the post. I meant what was the cat's name. Oh, okay, I've caught up. There is no cat, is there? Jesus Christ, what a shambles of a conversation that was. My bad, UFC. I'm still waiting... I'm still waiting for the cat. I was like, okay, there is no cat as it transpires. That was just a comedy of a conversation, that one. Jazz Tavanga has come onto the field and made a complete difference. He has made a difference that Mitchell Barnett could not. <clears throat> Sean Johnson from right in front to make it 16 points to six. Does so successfully, and with three minutes to go till the halftime break, the Warriors have something at least to show for it. And as I said, the Warriors are more than capable of going back to back. If they could jag another one, holy hell, can you imagine? If they jag another one here, it's well and truly game on. Sixteen points to six, three minutes to go until the half time break. Manly to get us back underway. Oh, it, it, it not only did it take a poop in the pet store, this dog, but it also ate all the treats. Wow. What, um, what breed of dog is it? Suddenly, the Warriors look like they have a new lease on life. They were just limping towards the halftime break, but now there's running in the legs. Jackson Ford. Takes tackle three, and from dummy half goes Wade Egan looking for a penalty. Can't quite get it. Oh, no! In back play, in back play, the try scorer, Jazz Tavanga, is being helped off the field by the trainer. The player responsible for turning things around for the Warriors is hobbling off the field. Disastrous news, that, for the Warriors. Honestly, the difference that he made to the Warriors' momentum since he's come on, and now he's off. That's huge. Manly have it. Tackle four now. If they get tackled, there they do. Ben Trevojevic taken. Tackle four. 35 out from the Warriors' line. A minute 40 to go until the halftime break. Jake Trevojevic. Tom Arley is on for Tavanga. 
Fifth and last, Cherry Evans puts it high into the corner. Contestable. Great kick. Taken by Manly. Spilt backwards. Knocked on by Manly. And that'll be a changeover. Warriors ball. Yep, and that is the night done for Jazz Tavanga. Sione for Ave. Ahoy there. Manly are challenging this call of a knock on. And. Ooh. I don't know why, with a minute 15 to go, why risk burning your captain's challenge? And I think they have done. So both teams without a captain's challenge now for the rest of the game, they've both used them on ridiculous calls. Both teams, the most ridiculous captain's challenge you'll ever see. Scott says it's a spoodle. The hell's a spoodle? Obviously, it's part poodle. What's the S part? Ten out from their own line here. The Warriors. A minute to go until the halftime break. And they get the penalty here. The Warriors tapping and going as Nickel Clockstat takes everyone by surprise. Still going. Gets the kick in. And Ben Trebojevic is back to cover it up. But great work from Nickel Klockstadt. Caught everybody sleeping. Probably shouldn't have kicked. Manly have it. Oh, that was frantic. He nearly caught everybody napping there. Thirty-three seconds to go till the halftime break. It's been frantic out there, this match. Brooks down the short side. Cut out pass is intercepted. Wateni Zelezniak will score, surely. He goes for the corner. DWZ he scores the intercept try. And the Warriors are back with all the momentum going into halftime. It's a tick on the multi, most importantly. An intercept runaway try for Mr. Solglow himself. 16-10, kick to come. And suddenly, what did I say? The Warriors are capable of going back to back. And before you know it, it's game on. And look what's happened. An intercept from DWZ and over in the corner he goes. Too much pace for Cherry Evans. 16-10, kick to come. I told you, Warriors supporters, not to give up. The kick from the sideline to potentially make it 16-12. And this is important because it is now absolutely thumping down rain. Glenn Woods, ahoy there, mate. James Strong was down in the dumps there a little. Hey, I said, don't give up. Pl plenty of time left. And the Warriors are a team more than capable of scoring tries quickly. Verti FN says, we are the power, we are the speed, we are the skills. That's all we're going to need. Get up and shout, say it till the end. We are the Warriors, 100%. Sean Johnson from the sideline. Time is up on the clock. This will be half time. 16-10, he strikes it, pushes it out to the right. It's not even close. One converted try is all that's in it at half time, and I dare say, Manly, I always say when a team lets a lead slip and goes into the break, uh, they should be leading by much more. The Warriors probably go into the sheds a little bit happier at half time. UFC says, Do you know the dudes, the band Daddy Cash? I don't. I don't know that. But that's some nice some nice trivia. 16 points to 10 at the break. 
The dudes are a New Zealand band. I knew I know a New Zealand band called The Lads. I've seen them a couple of times over here. There should be a show. They should do a show together. The dudes, supported by the lads. They should tour together. Just call it the blokes tour. The blokes. Does anyone know the band The Smeg in the Heads? And their hit single, Om. James Strong says they should combine the two bands and call it a couple of guys. <laughs> All right, Waste the World of Sports, half time here, 16 points to 10. The Warriors came firing back. Oh, yes, Crowded House. I love how Australia tries to claim Crowded House and split ends. Nothing doing, Australia. Crowded House and split ends are Kiwis through and through. All right, Waste the World of Sports, half time here. So I badly need to shut up for a couple of minutes and have a break. My voice is killing me. 16 points to 10. The comeback is on for the Warriors. All the second half action coming up after this. You don't want to know UFC, you don't want to know.
16 points to 10. Manly holding on to a slender lead now over the Warriors. The Warriors coming back right before the halftime break. A runaway intercept try for DWZ. Giving us a leg off the multi. A much needed leg off the multi at that. Perfect stuff. The comeback is on. Ivan Storm, Canes and Chiefs at Wellington today. Go the Chiefs! Although I do have a soft spot for the for the Hurricanes, it must be said. I would go Crusaders. Crusaders are my favourite, even though they're not doing too well at the moment. They're still my favourite. Crusaders, Chiefs. Then maybe the Highlanders. The Highlanders are like my underdog Kiwi team in the Super Rugby. Hurricanes and the Blues. That would be my order of preference. But always a Kiwi team over the Australian teams in, um, in Super Rugby. Except for the Queensland Reds. Queensland Reds are my Australian team. The um the Super Rugby competition. I don't I don't think it's necessarily letting the Pacific teams into the competition because the reality is if you want to if you want to build the game if you want to build the game you have to expand. So they had to come in at some point. It's kind of like letting Argentina into the uh, into the Tri Nations and expanding that into the Rugby Championship. If you want, if you want to grow the game, you've got to help out the smaller nations. So they needed opportunity. The problem, the problem I have with it is the conference system. The conference system is what killed it. If they could have expanded in a way that, um, that didn't bring about a ridiculous conference system, things would have been very different, I say. <laughs> they have to negotiate with two South African clubs to be competitive. UFC doesn't want growth. Hey, look, I'm with you, UFC. I think the Super 12s should have been it. Super 12s was the perfect competition. It should never have changed. That format should never have altered. But... Money. The Million Dollar Man. Money, 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 money. And you certainly can't blame them for that. It's suddenly very dark in here, I can't help but notice. How do I uh, brighten things up in here a wee bit? As it's uh, four o'clock in the afternoon and the... The shade starts to fall over. Turn on that sexy pink lighting again. No, last time I messed around with the lights too much. It was very difficult to get it back to back to where I needed it to be for filming. So I'm gonna not play around with stuff this time. Just 
boost the brightness a wee bit. There we go. That's a nice... That looks okay on my previous screen. Nice little happy medium and the, the brightness. Cool. All right. That chick is extremely shit-faced in the crowd. I hope. Otherwise... Otherwise, she's just crazy. Go hard or go home. Oh, Jazz Tavanga is on a crutch. That's bad, bad sight. Oh, second half is underway. Jeez, that was sudden. Let's get going in the second half. 16 points to 10. The Warriors finish that first half with all the momentum. Just to convert a try between them. It's Manly with first use of the ball, though, in the second 40. Great stuff. A blockbuster contest. What we hoped for. It was looking like one-way traffic for a large portion of that first half. I'm glad that we got back onto an even keel. Fifth and last, Manly. Solid first set. Cherry Evans from 40 out puts it high into the corner. Taken by Montoya, who surrenders. He's not held. Yes, he is. Tackle one from dummy half. Straight through. A great run there from uh, Tamare Martin, I think it was. It opened up for him. And the Warriors, they're on a roll. Continuing the second half where they left off in the first with front football. And a six again. Oh, this is huge. This is a massive moment now. The Warriors. Oh, Tom Ali takes tackle two, 30 meters out from the line. Nickel Klockstadt. Front football. Harris, flat pass to Fanua Blake in front of the post. Five metres out here on tackle four. Looking to square things up. Johnson, dummies inside, goes out. Nickel Klockstadt bumps away from one. Five metres short, fifth and last. They go left. Johnson has it. Ten out from the line, out the back to Harris. Harris, it's fifth and last, gets the offload back to Fanua Blake. Fanua Blake... Pops it back out to Johnson, but it's picked up by Cherry Evans. Sean Johnson, what was he doing? What was Sean Johnson thinking there? Ivan Storm asks, what do I think PNG and Fiji or Cookies Clubs should join the NRL? Well, it comes back to what UFC was saying earlier, doesn't it? I mean, we have to accept... Absolutely no offense to PNG or Fiji or these uh, these Pacific Island nations. As Cherry Evans has the ball stripped by Kirk Capewell, but it's a penalty to Manly. We have to accept that bringing another team into the competition will dilute the competition. I actually think that the... Uh, the PNG team is it that they've got in the Queensland Cup that are actually doing really well. I think that's the pathway for them. That is the right pathway through the Queensland Cup, through the lower leagues. Because they're doing extremely well down there. That's the pathway, I, I believe, through the lower leagues. Jerry Evans out to Ben Trebojevic. Twenty out from the line. Brooks down the left to Tommy Turbo. It's loose. Cole has got it. Manly still have the ball. Tackle four now. Croker in at first receiver. Fifth and last. Cherry Evans to Ben Trebojevic, who goes through a huge gap and scores. 
How did that open up? There was nothing doing there. Oh, and it's just a poor defensive read from Roger to Avasa Shek and, and Rocco Berry, was it? No. Tamari Martin. Tamari Martin and Roger to Avasa Shek both stand and watch each other as Ben Trebojevic goes straight through untouched. 20 points to 10. Manly extend their lead. That was a big try, that one. Big try. Because the Warriors went into halftime with all the momentum. Successfully using Holy Molly Olukawatu as a decoy. Ben Trebojevic in centers, eh? What a revelation that's been. Trebojevic's are us. And their pal DCE. Sounds like a kid's cartoon show from the 80s. Cherry Evans on target again with the conversion. 22 points to 10. They've opened it out to 12. Manly back on top. Shocking defense there from RTS and Tamare Martin. Somebody needed to commit. In the end, nobody committed. They both stood there looking at each other. Back underway. DCE takes the kickoff. The offload to Sipley. Draws in four defenders, Sipley. Great start to the second half for Manly. Bully Moore goes straight through. Tohu Harris holds on. Pure desperation, but he gets the ball free. And it's Sipley again. Oh, worrying signs here for the Warriors. Very alarming. Manly have got their offload game going. Sipley's hurt. He went to ground heavily for a big man. And he's hurt his shoulder. That is one big unit. Toa Sipley. Bully Moore. Doing some more hard yards. Up over halfway on tackle three. This is great from Manly. Jake Trebojevic. Runs straight at Fenua Blake. Miriam Banaki, ahoy there, Warriors, my love for you. Trailing by 12 at the moment, though, the Warriors. Fifth and last. DCE puts it high. I feel like they were a step offside there, Manly. It's tapped back by the Warriors, and Nickel Klockstadt dives on the loose ball, goes to ground. Ten out from their own line here, the Warriors. Big defense from Manly. They've got some serious hard yards to do here, the Warriors, to get back into a position to launch an attack. So, Manly started last year extremely well, also. But then Tommy Turbo got injured and they completely fell off the boil. Things are looking different this year for Manly. I know it's still early days, once again. Will Manly have the traditional fall off the cliff? Will Tommy Turbo stay at 100% throughout the competition? These are all important questions. Jackson Paulo backs into the fence, makes some great post-contact meters. This is good from Manly, I've got to say. Tackle four, 30 out from the line. Cherry Evans to Holy Moly Olakuatu pops the ball back in field at Tommy Turbo. He wasn't really expecting it, does well to hold on. Fifth and last. 
20 out. Terrible pass. It pops up, though, for Jake Trebojevic. Gets it back to Brooks. Brooks gets a good kicking, all things considering. Witteni Zelezniak chests it down. And is wrapped up five out from his own line. Warriors have the ball. Long way to go upfield. The Cuban egg says, I didn't know that Manly are that good. Manly are pretty good. I think it's safe to say that we probably expected the Warriors to be a little bit better than what they've shown for the most part so far. But yeah, Manly are a decent side. Don't get that mistaken. Jesus can't save them, bro, <laughs> says Yikes. Oh, that's a terrible play, the ball from Nickel Klockstadt. Lucky to get away with it. Fifth and last, Johnson from inside the 40, straight down the throat of Tommy Turbo, who winds up. And he's met by Curtis Capewell. Sean Johnson just honestly looks a little bereft of ideas at the moment. The Warriors need Sean Johnson to fire, really. I'm not saying they're a one-man team, but they need Sean Johnson on top of his game, and he just looks a little, little clueless at the moment. Hungry before dinner. Ahoy there. Other than the Titans and Rabbits at the bottom, it is going to be a hell of a battle in the middle of the ladder. For certain. For certain. Fifth and last. Brooks puts it high. Contestable kick. Moving forward as Nickel Clocks. That does extremely well and gets away from the first tackle. 25 out from the Warriors line. They have the ball. The Warriors. Wateni Zelezniak. Takes a hit up. Nickel Klogstadt. Is he all right? A little bit of a hobble in back play. Montoya shrugs off one. Gets the offload away. Tamari Martin. Change of direction. Runs back across the face of the defense. Looking for something to open up. It doesn't. And he's taken to ground on tackle three. Just shy of the halfway line. Tom Ale up over. On tackle four. Harris. Out the back of shape to Johnson. Here they go. They've got an overlap. Draw and pass is all that's needed. Two of us, a check loses the ball. Backwards, says the referee. Fifth and last. They're 20 out from Manley's line. Johnson in midfield. Crossfield kick. Not a lot of distance, but it's contestable. It's tapped back from the Warriors. And now Manley dive on the loose ball. Tommy Talau, great effort. Just a lack of urgency. Those loose balls, it's always Manly diving on them. And now an offload in midfield. Another offload? No, well wrapped up by the Warriors. Almost another offload. It's just urgency. Those high balls are getting tapped back and then there's just Manly jerseys everywhere. The Warriors are not fighting for it at the moment. Aaron Woods is on. Woodsy! Woodsy. Fifth and last here for Manly. Tommy Turbo's trying to milk a penalty. Slows the play right down. Cherry Evans from 40 out puts it high. No pressure at the back there on Montoya. Takes it, runs back towards the post, links up with Nickel Klockstadt. He's wrapped up by Woods and Sipley. Witteni Zelezniak is picked up and dumped on his back. Huge defense out there. Capewell. Capewell just has not had the same impact since coming to the Warriors. I think that's fair to say. Capewell was a 10 out of 10 at the Panthers. He was about a 7 or 8 out of 10 at the Broncos. He's about a 5, to be honest, at the Warriors. He's really offered nothing. I don't think that's harsh at all. Barnett gets the offload away. Back to Tamari Martin. Johnson, it opens up. He's got space and he's got support. Johnson dummies and goes on his own. And that's what they needed. Sean Johnson, a great individual effort. Dummying and ghosting his way through the defense to score. 22-14. They're not going away, the Warriors. They are just not going away. 
They're hanging in there and a smile on the face. That's what they need to see. Yeah, that one failed last night, UFC. I needed... Um, who played last night? I needed Katoni Staggs last night. So that one was already over. And if Katoni Staggs scored, I would have cashed out with a profit. I wouldn't have even... Capewell was only there to bump the price up. 22-14 kick to come from beside the posts. It's about to be one converted try. No, he was only there to bump the price up, UFC. Oh, you mean in the Broncos game? No, Staggs was great value for the Broncos. I stand by it, even though it didn't succeed. If you load up a 12-leg multi and choose all wingers, you get no value out of it. 12 legs would pay out like $8 or something. <laughs> Just not worth it. Sean Johnson misses the conversion. Oh, no. He's pushed it past the near upright. 22 points to 14. Oh, that could be a critical missed conversion. That was not the hardest of kicks. Maybe when he scores a try, he should hand the goal-kicking duties off to somebody else. It was all a little bit too much, perhaps. Oh, that could be a big, big critical miss. The one from the sideline was forgivable, but from there, about 10 metres to the right of the post, unforgivable. 22 points to 14. The Warriors just refusing to go away. They're staying in this. And that was a, a try out of nothing. Harris with the hit up. Takes three to bring him down. 25 minutes left in the game. Barnett's back on. He's held onto the ball at least. Egan from dummy half. Harris at the back to Johnson. They've got space down the right again. Here's Rocco Berry. Crunched in the tackle. Big hit from Tommy Talao. Fifth and last. They're 30 out from the line again here, the Warriors. Johnson puts it high. It's a little bit too deep, I think. It's hit the crossbar. This could go anywhere. It falls for the Warriors. The offload is dived on once again. The urgency. Manly jerseys everywhere. One Warrior. The ball off the upright bouncing back. That was dangerous, but there were just Manly jerseys everywhere. Again, a lack of urgency off the loose balls. The Warriors are just not getting there in numbers. That was a real opportunity. 22-14 it remains. Woods with the hit up. Fifth and last. They've gone for the one-on-one -on -one strip and they've given away a penalty. On tackle five, a penalty. Unforgivable. Oh, they are just killing themselves here, the Warriors. Dropped balls. Lack of urgency. Illegal steals on the fifth and last. You just can't be doing that. Why are you going for a strip on the fifth and last anyway? Just let go. Let the... Go. Oh, I can't even speak. It just defies belief. You're about to get the ball back. They're going to have to kick. Why try for a strip on tackle buddy fifth? Anyway. 
Manly on the attack. They could make them pay for this. Holy moly. On the inside line. 20 out from the line now. Tackle four. Well, they're 10 out. That was a good run. Jake Trebojevic out the back to Brooks. Brooks back inside goes Tommy Turbo. Beats one. Wrapped up. Still 10 out. Fifth and last. Cherry Evans puts the grubber kick in. It's played out by the Warriors. That'll be six more tackles. Cherry Evans gets the result. It's six again. Five out from the line. A full set of six. This is a huge moment now. The Warriors must hold on. Holy moly from a flat start. Is wrapped up pretty easily. Paseca in midfield on the crash ball. Tackle three. They're racing through this tackle count. Brooks out on the left. Dummies cuts back in field. Brooks beats one. Wrapped up by nickel clock stacked. Two tackles left. Paseca on the crash ball again. Fifth and last. And he's dropped at Paseca. Huge defense. Nickel Klockstad, Egan, Barnett. Pats on the back all around. There's no captain's challenges remaining. That's huge. Huge defense from the home team. The fifth and last five out from their own line. And that is a massive hit on a big, big man. Forcing the mistake. Victor, ahoy there, mate. Welcome back. Watching from Eastern Highlands Province, Papua New Guinea. Scrum down for the Warriors. 10 out from their own line. Witteni Zelezniak has it. 20 minutes to go. Three quarters of the way through the game. Big defense in midfield here from Manly. Driving the Warriors backwards on tackle two. Eight points the difference. How crucial could that misconversion from Sean Johnson be? Capewell up to the 40. Angie, ahoy there. Watching from Papua New Guinea. Good game. Now Wade Egan darts out a dummy half. He's up over halfway. He's pulled down fifth and last. 40 out from Manley's line. Johnson on the short side puts it high. Maybe a step off side on the chase. But that's all right. Oh, and slipping in the end goal. Tommy Talao, he gets back into the field of play. Just tackle two now. Five out from their own line. They drive him backwards, though, towards the end goal. And that's huge defense from the Warriors. They've driven him back into his own end goal. And this will be our goal line dropout. That is such massive defense from the Warriors. Massive. Mitchell Barnett leading the way as three Warriors pick up Cola. It's Barnett. It's Laban. And who else was in there? Jackson Ford. They go along with the restart, Manly. No thoughts of a short drop out there. 19 to go. Warriors ball. Full set of six. 30 out from Manly's line. Barnett. He's fired up, Barnett. He had a shocking first half, so he's got a lot to make up for. Harris out the back to Johnson. Inside goes Capewell. He's chopped down. Tackle three, 20 out. They stay on the short side. Nickel Klockstad, though, runs back towards the post. Gets the offload back to Egan. Egan wasn't expecting it, and he's knocked it on. Wade Egan was not expecting the offload, and a crucial error on tackle three. And that is why Wade Egan cannot play Origin, because you've got to be switched on constantly. He was looking out at his teammates, planning the next move when the current move wasn't even over yet. That's a big mistake. Manly, though, still 10 meters out from their own line. 25 from 32 completions for the Warriors. 26 from 30 for Manly. Both teams completing high. Aoli Source bumps off one. He's wrapped up, though. They come back at him, put him down for tackle three. Sipley. No, that's not Sipley. Sorry, that's Paseca. 
40 out from their own line here, Manly. DCE from inside the 40 on tackle four. Taken on the fall by Montoya. And now he winds up. Marcelo Montoya almost goes through. Ben Trebojevic and holy moly. Quick play the ball. Nickel Klockstadt goes from dummy half. Goes to ground just short of halfway. 17 minutes left. Again, a dummy half run. Roger to Avasashek this time. And he's lost the ball, RTS. Oh, no. On tackle two. RTS is having a nightmare on game number 200. There's no captain's challenges remaining. But the reaction of RTS spoke volumes there. He lost that ball cold. Junior, Kim, ahoy there. Go Manly, watching from Papua New Guinea. Ilitai Lautami. Go Manly, watch from Australia. UFC, is this multi you have on Sportsbet? Yep. A $10 bonus bet. That is uh, <laughs> not going to pay out. At least I got one leg. I've been on a string of zero legs. Holy moly, Olakuatu goes straight through. Offloads to DCE. Tackle two, Manly on the front foot. Looking to put the nail in now. Jake Trebojevic in midfield. Three tackles left. Cherry Evans over on the right. Puts the grubber kick in early. RTS gets back. Grounds it in the end goal. Goal line dropout incoming. The Warriors continue to just hold on, but Manly are on top. Ben Trebojevic hobbling. Could be hurt. Cherry Evans is controlling things perfectly for Manly. And how, how crucial that missed conversion could be. The Warriors go short. They get up. They contest. But Manly knock the ball on. They were there in numbers, but they've knocked it on. Travis, ahoy there, mate. Do you think bunnies will win against sharks? It wouldn't surprise me, to be honest. <laughs> it really wouldn't surprise me. The thing that concerns me about the Sharks, as a, as a shark supporter, the thing that really concerns me is it's a game. It's a game that we are expected to win. And the Sharks, in games that they're expected to win, generally poo-poo the bed. Oh, Ben Trebojevic is off. He's hurt. He's done. Ben Trebojevic done for the night. That's a big out. Ben Trebojevic has been immense. Scrum down Warriors. 14 and a half minutes to go. Eight points the difference. And again, I say, how critical could that missed conversion become at the end of this game? Crucial two points that Sean Johnson left out there. They're still in it, though, the Warriors. Never say die. Never write them off. Harris. Inside to Barnett, up towards halfway. On tackle four, Egan to Harris. Harris with the flat pass to Ford. Ford almost goes through. Fifth and last. And now somebody else hurt for Manly. I can't see who that is. Johnson gets the kick away. It's contestable. Pressure on the... Pressure on Tommy Talao at the back, I think it might have been. He's done extremely well to take it. J. Joe Johnson, one of the better kickers in the game. Absolutely. Moronic douchebaggery. Ahoy there. 13 and a half minutes to try and cut back eight points. Manly look a little out on their feet. If, if, if anything, the Warriors do seem to have the most energy at the moment. Fifth and last. Manly, they've gone absolutely nowhere this set. The kick from Cherry Evans from inside his own 40, straight down the throat of Montoya. And this will be good field position for the Warriors. 40 out from their own line to start this set. 13 minutes left. RTS just short of halfway. They definitely seem to have more energy at the moment. Compared to, to Manly. 
Nickel Klockstadt gets the quick play of the ball from dummy half. Egan spots a little space. Bumps away from the first tackle, Egan. Montoya hasn't scored today. No. Glenn, it's been DWZ, Sean Johnson. And uh, who got the other one? I don't think it was Montoya. Fifth and last now, 10 out from the line. Johnson's out on the left, puts the grubber kick in. It sits up at the back for Jackson Paulo, and Paulo is tackled in goal. A result for the Warriors. 12 minutes left. Defunk, ahoy, mate. Leo likes league. Ahoy, buddy. How are you doing? Welcome back. Oh, yeah, Tavanga. Jazz Tavanga on the crash ball. Thank you, mate. Jazz Tavanga, DWZ on the intercept, and Sean Johnson with the solo run. The three try scorers for the Warriors. Manly once again go deep with the dropout. This is a huge restart. Up over halfway, and Fanua Blake now returns it for the Warriors. And they start this set 40 out from Manly's line. 11 and a half to go, eight points the difference. She's not over. But I say once again, that misconversion. Racing up out of the defensive line was Croker. Had to make the hit. Does. Tackle three for the Warriors. 30 out from the line. 11 minutes left. Oh, this could be a huge finish. Johnson runs to the line. Dummies cuts back in field. He's wrapped up. Fifth and last. That takes Johnson out of play. Who's the kicking option? Where do they go? Out the back, it goes for the Warriors. Grubber kick into the end goal. Sits up for Cherry Evans. And how fitting it is that DCE is the one who's now picked up and driven back towards his own goal line. But Manly have it a meter out from their own line. DCE, how fitting it was that he was there to save the day. He's had a big couple of weeks. Quality as always. Cherry Evans, love him or hate him. He is in a real purple patch of form at the moment. But it's the Warriors with the momentum. Manly look completely out on their feet. They've had to do a lot of defense. And again, this set of six, they haven't really gone anywhere. Not a lot of meters. Fifth and last, this kick will be from inside the 40 again. Cherry Evans, it's low, it's flat, it's angled perfectly, but it just spins back in field. The 40-20 was on. The Cherry Evans show was ready to go up a gear. He just doesn't get the bounce. But what a kick still as the Warriors start this set 20 out from their own line when they should have been so much further upfield. The Cherry Evans show continues. Didn't quite get the result he was after that time, but it was still a good result. For Noah Blake now, takes it up towards the halfway line for the Warriors. A couple of tackles left. Nowhere near the field position they were expecting to have, and they've come up with a mistake. Oh, Mitchell Barnett is having a dead set shocker today. One of the worst games I've ever seen from Mitchell Barnett. Getting in the way. And it's a turnover just over halfway. And that could be the game. With nine minutes to go, a turnover on the halfway line. Manly have been under the pump, and that is a huge let off. You can just feel the air get sucked out of the stadium on the back of that mistake. Mitchell Barnett, he's had an absolute shocker. Sports fall to Hoy, mate. Oh. The handling. Letting the Warriors down. Richard Hetter, ahoy there, from Ipswich, Queensland. Nice. Richard, I work for the Ipswich newspaper. So there you go. <laughs> Paseca. This is a chance now for Manly to really put this game to bed.
20 out from the line. Fifth and last. Cherry Evans, crossfield kick. Montoya does extremely well. But they're a meter out from their own line here, the Warriors. Hamish McKenzie, you're betting oil now. Very nice. Well, that's valuable. Worth a lot of money. The real Dark Star. Ahoy there, mate. Welcome along. Penalty to the Warriors. Much, much needed. A high tackle. Oh, my God. They needed that. Seven minutes to go. Eight points the difference. I've been saying it all second half. How valuable will the, the two points be? The missed conversion could be the difference maker in this game. The kick into touch, 40 short, uh, 10 meters short of the halfway line. Warriors on their own 40. You get the feeling they've got to make something happen in this next set or two. Oh, sports fault. That was crazy. I called it at the time. The most blatant knock-on that you'll ever see. And uh, for the second week in a row, Manly just having knock-ons completely ignored. Jackson Ford cuts back in field for the Warriors. Six minutes left. Tackle three. 30 out from the Manly line. Harris to Vita to Johnson. Johnson will kick. It's way too heavy. It's a shocker of a kick. Sean Johnson has saved his worst kick of the night for the dying stages. Seven tackle set incoming for Manly. That could have been the moment. That could have been their opportunity. Six minutes left. Eight points the difference. That could have been the game there. Or at least uh, the Warriors' chance of a hit back. Seven tackles set for Manly. Six minutes left. This will be a big result for them. Because this was a game that very few people expected them to win. So what a moment for, for Manly. Should they go on and, and hold on to this one? Tackle two. Five and a half minutes to go. Just short of halfway. Manly will end up in good field position here. Aoli Sauce bumps off one. What a run. Up over halfway. That was intense from the Aoli Sauce. Jake Trebojevic now puts the head down. Tackle four. In great field position. Five minutes left. They stay on the left-hand side. There's Brooks. Links up with Tommy Turbo. Fifth and last. 25 out. They stay on the short side. Brooksy links up. Corey Waddell. Glue on his hands again. Goes to ground. And it's Warriors ball. They must score off this set. I dare say. It has to be this set. Nickel clock stat wrapped up. Three-man tackle. Four minutes, 49 to go. Through the hands now, out to the left. Manly number up and shut that play down. Two of us, Ashek, trying to milk a penalty. Boy, they, they need one, the Warriors. They bloody need one. Tackle three, four and a half left. Trapped down their own end. Tackle four. They need a miracle here, the home side. It's getting into that territory. Harris in midfield to Johnson. They've got good shape out to the right. Rocco Berry tries to put the step on. Manly have numbered up well. Fifth and last on halfway. Four minutes left. Johnson puts a high looping kick in. There's no chase to speak of. They've let it bounce, Manly. This could go anywhere. And Cherry Evans is there. The daily Cherry Evans show continues. Of course he is there. Right on the spot to dive on the loose ball. He's had a monster of a game, DCE. And of course he's there once again. 
The Real Dark Star says, do you think Manly are a chance this year realistically? Well, if they can keep it together, absolutely. They've got a solid team. I mean, I don't think that the bookies or, or anybody really uh, gave Manly the credit they deserve going into this contest. They were rank outsiders, unbackable outsiders with the bookmakers. And they've played really, really well. Once again, Cherry Evans now just controlling the flow of this game, plugs it into touch, 20 metres out from the Warriors' line. Three minutes left, eight points the difference. Cherry Evans just controlling the field position. Luke Brooks has been a, 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 a spark that Manly have been missing. Although he's had a quiet game tonight. But I suppose ultimately the question that always lingers around Manly as the Warriors now go through the hands, Montoya cuts back in field. Two and a half left. The question is if something happens to Tommy Turbo, what happens to Manly? If Tommy Turbo stays fit and stays out on the field, do they still have that reliance on him? If he falls over at some point, is that game over for Manly? That remains to be seen. But certainly at the moment, Manly are looking extremely good. Fifth and last, 30 metres out. Harris Tavita puts it high. There's a good kick chase here. Tommy Turbo misses it. It's tapped back from the Warriors and there. Lost forward by Manly and offside. Offside. Play on, says the referee. Well, I would want the penalty for offside because you can take... Ow! Ow! Because you can take the two to make it within six. Oh, they've missed a penalty there. That would have been an inter interesting decision. A minute and a half remaining. The Warriors have it 10 metres out. I wanted that penalty to be called for a grandstand finish. It would have been an interesting decision to take the two. One minute, 20 left. Tackle two. They've got a score and probably, I dare say, knock back the shot at conversion. A minute 12 left. Tackle three. Five metres out. Egan from dummy half out the back to Johnson. Johnson dummies. Fires it out. And DWZ will score in the corner. Oh, strap yourself in for a huge final minute. Wateni Zalesniak gets a double. Are they even going to take the shot at goal? 55 seconds left. 22-18. Did I or did I not tell you how critical that missed conversion was? because this would have been to tie things up. Instead, oh, should they even take the shot? I suppose they have to. Sean Johnson's got to race through this. I would be tempted to knock back the shot at conversion, in all honesty. They're taking it. Johnson moves in, strikes it. It's on target. It's over. 22 points to 20. 48 seconds left on the clock. 47. The Warriors will have one set of six to steal this one. One set of six to steal the match. Oh, I'm an oracle. Did I or did I not say all half how critical that misconversion from right beside the post was? Right beside the post, Sean Johnson missed a conversion, that would have been the ball game all locked up, going into golden point potentially. Short kickoff from Manly, surely not. Surely not. Surely not. You kick the bugger as deep as you possibly can and say to the Warriors, if you're good enough, go the distance. Run the length of the field to win this game if you're good enough. Forty-seven seconds to go. Manly. Put it deep. From the back fence was Harris, but they've cut him out. They go to Egan and Fanua Blake. Thirty-five seconds to go. Warriors have got to go the length of the field. Nickel clock stat. Thirty seconds left. They should get a majority of this set in. Harris. Out the back to Johnson. Now they've got space. RTS wrapped up well by that man, DCE. 
15 seconds to go. Can they get themselves into position? They might have one tackle left after this. Nine seconds left. This is it. It'll be a miracle. Sean Johnson from 45 out gets the drop kick in and it falls short and runs over the dead ball line. He's had his leg taken out. Sean Johnson has had his leg taken out and we will need to review this. This could be a penalty. This could be a penalty. Sean Johnson, you cannot dive at the leg of the kicker. You're not allowed to dive at the leg of the kicker. And they haven't here, in all honesty. I've seen the replay. They need to have a look at it, but I don't think anything's really happened there. Aoli's gone for the charge down and incidental contact with the leg. I would love to see a penalty just for the drama, but Aoli's done nothing wrong there. I don't think Aoli Source has done anything wrong there. He'd never left his feet once. He was clearly going for a charge down. This is a big, big call, though. I mean, it's a huge call because the penalty goes from where the ball lands, right? They've given the penalty to the Warriors. They've given the penalty to the Warriors. It's going to be a shot at goal. They're going to take the two from right in front of the post, 10 meters out, and this game is going to golden point. And I think that that is the most ridiculous, harsh call ever. But by God, I love it for the drama. How good is that for the drama, though? Aoli Source has done absolutely nothing wrong there. All, all he's done is attempted a charge down, incidental contact with the leg. He never, he didn't dive, he didn't launch himself carelessly at the leg. That's a really rough call. You basically can't attempt a charge down anymore because if you make any contact with the kicker, it's going to be a penalty. You're not, you basically watch that and go, you can no longer attempt a charge down or you're going to give away a penalty right in front of the post as Johnson moves in, puts it over, and this game is going to golden point. 22 points all. That was a terrible call, in all honesty. A disastrous call. I tipped the Warriors, so I don't really mind, but geez, that was a horrible call. Aoli Source did absolutely nothing wrong there. Legitimately tried for a charge down. Incidental contact with the leg. That's a really rough call. I agree. Akuma touched the kicker. It's a penalty. That was a horrendous call. It basically says to the rest of the competition, you can no longer attempt a charge down because if you come into contact with the kicker, that's all she wrote. And that, in my mind, is absolutely ridiculous. Manly, extremely hard done by there. But we are going to golden point. Oh, God, I better have myself a very quick break before this one starts. This has gone down to the wire unexpectedly. Golden point game. Bring it on. Oh, DCE laying down the law in a huddle. Twenty two points or golden point. Manly will be kicking off Warriors with first use of it. The Warriors have been more susceptible to just horrible, simple mistakes throughout the course of the game thus far. So I don't know that they necessarily would have wanted 
to be uh, bringing the ball out of their own territory to start with. But we'll see. Oh, this is huge. This is crazy. Crazy, crazy finish to this game. Golden point. Manly to get us started with Golden Point. Cumbrian McCam says, being a Warriors fan isn't good for your health. DCE gets us underway. They go deep again, Manly. Taken in the end goal, Warriors. And it's Barnett with the first hit off. Well, that was risky. Barnett's had a shocker today. He's had the dropsies. Golden point underway. BFTA vibes and Z ahoy, mate. Nice to see you again. Jim for Ave up the Warriors. Anime Moore, go manly. Harris to Martin. The Warriors. 35 out from their own line. Harris again, fifth and last, just short of halfway. It's been solid defense from Manly to start Golden Point. Johnson, kicking from inside his own half. It's a huge towering kick. Tommy Turbo takes it on his knees. And Manly will start the set 20 out from their own line. Richard Hetta says, go the Warriors. Neither team wanting to make a mistake here. How this game has ended up in Golden Point is miraculous. But miracles do happen. Miracles do indeed happen. Tackle four, Manly, told to go back on the mark and play it just short of halfway. Simply up over the halfway line. Fifth and last. It's a long way out. It's too far out. Cherry Evans puts it high into the corner. Taken by Montoya. Montoya lines it up. Runs straight over the top of... Who was that? Was that DCE or Croker? It was Croker. And we've got time off here. And Croker is busted. Croker will be straight off for a HIA here. Got himself in a horrible position. Yeah, it was a really rough call, DJ Shaq. Really rough call. It has basically signaled to the rest of the competition that uh, it's not worth the risk of attempting a charge down. Kickers are going to have free reign now to have shots at long distance pot shots at drop goal because if you get too close and make contact on an attempted charge down, it's over. They've got space out to the left here, the Warriors. Two of us, Ashek Dummies goes on his own. Well defended in the end there by Manley. Tackle four, just short of halfway. Johnson to Barnett, change of direction. Back down the short side. Barnett, they're 40 out, still not close enough. Fifth and last, Johnson puts it high. No risk of the long-range field goal. Well taken by Tommy Talau. He's had a solid game, Talau. And Croker called off for the HIA. I never saw the... I didn't see the Ilias one, DJ Shaq, so I can't comment on that specifically. But, um... Aoli never left the ground. Like, it was it was a pure charge-down attempt. The charge-down is basically, basically eliminated from the game. Had he left the ground? Had he actually dived to try and charge it down and left the ground? Careless? Fair enough. But um, 
but yeah, oh, really rough call, I think. Two minutes to go in this uh, golden point period. Sipley gets the offload. And now Manly have lost it. Manly have knocked it on. And this is a chance for the Warriors. A full set of six inside Manly's half. The mistake has been made. A minute and a half remaining on the clock. Oh, what's happened? Somebody in Sydney's gone on a stabbing and shooting rampage. Wow. Wow. We don't get too many shooting rampages here in Australia. Michelle, I'm nowhere near Bondi. Well, there goes my first suspect. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't make jokes about such, such situations. Junior, ahoy there. The Warriors now just setting up for the drop goal. Harris. On tackle three, 20 out from the line. Here they go. Do they pull the trigger early? Johnson's in the pocket for Noah Blake. They've knocked on. The Warriors have knocked on. On tackle three, they're not even going to get a chance. Tohu Harris knocks it on in the play of the ball. Oh, you wouldn't read about it. This game is destined to be a draw. This game is absolutely destined for neither team to win. Scrum down, manly ball, 20 out from their own line. 40 seconds left. Wow, a comedy of errors, says Glenn Woods. 16 seconds to go in golden point one. This is it. It'll be a long range shot. Don't give away a penalty. Don't even attempt a charge down. Cherry Evans from 40 out. It falls short. Nickel clock stat. Takes the tackle, and that is the end of golden point period number one. 22 points all. And this game, it's, uh, you get the feeling it's just meant to be a tie. Marcus for Ave. Let's go, Warriors. We can do this. We can do this. 22 points all. This game just refuses to end. The Warriors had their chance. They had a big chance. It was there for the taking. They just needed one more play the ball. Sean Johnson was in the pocket. Tohu Harris knocks the ball on in the play the ball. It was there for the Warrior. It was there. For the taking. But now we've got to do it all again. Five more minutes. What was the halftime score? Halftime was 16 points to 10 in favor of Manly. Sixteen ten. The halftime score. Warriors get the second period of golden point underway, and it's not a deep kick. It is not a deep kick. This is good field position for Manly. Starting the set now. Tackle two, 30 meters out from their own line. Jake Trebojevic takes the hit up. Big defense needed now from the Warriors. Short side play. Cherry Evans puts the run on. Gets up to halfway. Tackle four. That was a good run from DC. Change of direction here. Bullymore wrapped up. Fifth and last. They're too far out. They are too far out here, Manly. 
Cherry Evans down the short side, puts it high. It's contestable. It's well-placed. Moving forward and losing it. The Warriors, they're offside here. And a penalty much needed. A penalty to the Warriors. Boy, do they need that. Glenn Woods, Bondi Junction Shopping Centre. You were there yesterday and nearly went today. Holy hell, we've got to keep an eye on that. Some some big news developing away from the football world, it seems, down in Bondi. Here come the Warriors now, on halfway, Harris. Takes tackle two, this another chance. Johnson in midfield, runs across the face of the defense. Capewell, change of direction, wrapped up and put down. Tackle three, not a lot of meters made there. Nickel clocks that from the back fence. That's a good run, that's all they have to do. Head down, charge forward. For Noah Blake, knows his assignment. Fifth and last here, the Warriors. Do they pull the trigger? Johnson's in the pocket, 30 meters out, right in front. Snaps the drop goal and it's off to the right. Or is it over? It's off to the right. He's missed it. Johnson missed it. Way off to the right. Manly have a seven tackle set. Game of Mel, ahoy there. Seven tackle set, Manly. Two minutes 40 to go. This game is destined to be a draw. Nobody wins. There are no winners here. Two and a half minutes left. Oh, appealing for a penalty here. Milky Magoo for Tommy Talau. Hoping for the TMO to intervene and give a penalty. Let's see. Head. Head contact with what? Shoulder? Nothing there. Play on. Nothing in it. Two and a half to go. Manly through Paseca. Wrapped up in a three-man tackle. They are determined to keep Manly pinged down here. Jake Trebojevic, good run. They're still not up to halfway, though. Tackle three. Paseca again. Takes them up over the halfway line. That's a good charge. Tackle four. Just over the halfway. To the left, Brooks steps back in field. Fifth and last. Do Manly pull the trigger here? 40 minutes, uh, 40 meters out. Cherry Evans from 40 out. It's off target. It's short. It sits up in the end goal for Nickel Klockstadt. And the Warriors will get the last crack at it. Jason Hamilton, ahoy there. Can you say hello to Emma Taylor? Ahoy there, Emma Taylor. Cheers. One minute and a half to go. In golden point two, Warriors ball. Harris to Johnson. They're trying to free it up. Here's Rocco Berry putting the step on. Risky play. 40 out from their own line in golden point. Johnson slips, fires the ball back. Risky pass. DCE wraps up uh, Tamare Martin, I think, in the tackle there. Up over halfway they go now. Fifth and last. They're not close enough. They're not in range. Johnson from halfway puts it high. A minute to go. How's the kick chase? There's no kick chase. Jackson Paulo. Tommy Talao's got it. <laughs> Sports Fort says, can you give a birthday shout out to my cousin, Seymour Butts? And I'll also shout out your other cousin, Amanda Hug and Kiss. Thirty-five seconds to go. In golden point two, 22 points all. Manly on tackle four. The Warriors might get one more tackle. One more shot at it. Fifth and last. Manly have gone nowhere. The kick from inside the 40 from Cherry Evans. It's low. It's flat. It's straight down the throat of Nickel Klockstadt. And this is it. 10 seconds left. There will be one more play. Four seconds, two of us a shek. Takes them on and goes to ground, and that will be the siren. 22 points all. 
There was no breaking these two teams apart. Full time here, and this game ends in a draw. Everybody loses. Can I get a shout out to my cousin, May Asso? Is it May or my? <laughs> a draw, nobody wins. What a disappointment. 22 points all. What a match. Manly. Manly have stepped up, though, and shown themselves a, uh, a, a top four side. The Warriors showed grit, determination, fight, a little bit of luck. I think that was a really harsh call on the aioli sauce at the end of the game there, regulation time. What a game of footy, though. Wow. Oh, how do you recover from that? 22 points. Oh. All right, let's find out what the hell's going on in Bondi, huh? What's happening in Bondi? Police operation at Bondi Junction reports of stabbing, shots fired at shopping center. So this was 56 minutes ago. There's probably a there's probably a, a, a more recent updates. Perpetrator shot dead. Here we go. This is a more recent update. Perpetrator shot dead at busy Bondi Junction Westfield as shoppers flee amid reports of multiple stabbings. Holy Christ. Wow. Okay. So there's been a stabbing attack. At Bondi Junction, a perpetrator has been shot dead as a major police operation unfolds at a busy Westfield shopping center in Sydney. Emergency services rushed to Bondi Junction on Saturday afternoon, that's today, responding to a major incident with reports of multiple stabbings. New South Wales Police told Yahoo a critical police operation was underway but could not give further information. Several police vehicles and ambulances were seen outside the shopping centre as panicked shoppers fled the area. Well, why wouldn't you? New South Wales Ambulance told Yahoo a perpetrator has been shot dead but could not confirm by who. Uh, well, probably the police, I'm going to dare say. Police confirmed the perpetrator is male. It is unclear at this stage if there are others. However, police crews are continuing to descend on the shopping centre while armed officers have taken to the building's roof. A baby among at least seven injured. Oh, Jesus Christ. New South Wales Ambulance have confirmed that they have transported seven trauma patients to hospital, including one baby. Two have gone to St. Vincent's. One baby has gone to Sydney Children's. One has gone to St. George. One has gone to Royal North Shore. Two have gone to RPA, a spokesperson said. One witness told the ABC they saw a baby with a stab wound. Who stabs a baby? Who stabs a baby? Come on. I mean, that is ridiculous. Wow. Yahoo has received unconfirmed reports of multiple stabbings at the shopping center. One mother present at the center told Yahoo... Customers were seen rushing out of the shopping center holding children. I feel sick in my stomach, she said. Other eyewitnesses say they heard gunshots. According to the ABC, a shopper named Roy told the ABC he was in a store when he heard two shots ring out. He initially hid in a changing room and was later led out a fire exit by a staff member onto the street below. Wow, so crazy stuff. A, a baby. Who stabs a baby, man? Seriously. Like, I don't care how messed up in the head you are that you go on a, 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 a rampage. A baby? That's next level, man. That is next level. Unbelievable stuff. <sighs> wow, crazy scenes. And, and what's pretty full on as well, we were just talking at the... Was it the end of the stream last night? Was it the end of the stream last night in the post-stream chats where I was talking about being a newsreader? Well, I got my opportunity today unexpectedly, didn't I? I just got to read out some news. So there you go. That was my newsreading voice.
Wow. G, ahoy there. G, welcome along. Ooh, anyway, back to happier topics. 22 points all. This game ends in a tie. Nobody wins. How are you, G? We're going to party up at Noosa over the Christmas holidays, eh? Wasted World of Sports live show. There's got to be a... I reckon there's got to be a, a pub up there somewhere that I can do a live stream from. Wasted World of Sports live from the Noosa Beach. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. Shark boy, ahoy there, mate. Sorry, uh, some very big developments happened. I wasn't ignoring you. It's just big stuff happening in Bondi at the moment. Crazy. Muppet, ahoy there. Um. I believe that I am catching up with Pencil Pat tonight, so won't be going, uh, won't be doing the Sharks Rabbitohs game. Uh, I think for, it makes no sense that I would take the night off when all this momentum has been built for the channel. But honestly, no matter how big. I always made this promise to myself, no matter how big things ever got, if they ever got, I would always have time for friends and family because friends and family are incredibly important. My friend, Pencil Pat, wants to catch up. I very rarely get to see him. I think I can have one game off. So, yeah, I always made that promise to myself that um, no, ma no matter where things go, I will always make time for uh, friends and family. So at this stage, at this stage, I'm likely going to sit out the Sharks Rabbitohs game. But before that, coming up next, don't go anywhere because we do have the Parramatta Eels versus the North Queensland Cowboys. That's a game we're definitely doing because Pencil Pat's not here yet and he won't be till after seven o'clock. So. We will definitely be doing the Parramatta Reels North Queensland Cowboys game coming up right after this. So, yeah, the, the footy is not over for the day. There's another game to come. Let's get that ready, actually. Let's go ahead and load that scoreboard up. The uh, ridiculously out of form... The ridiculously out of form Parramatta Reels and the uh, highly unpredictable North Queensland Cowboys. Glenn Wood says they just showed the Bondi Junction stabber. He was wearing an Aussie league jumper, green and gold, the kangaroos. Well, there you go. USC did say, I mean, you don't have to wear an Aussie league jumper to be a white supremacist, of course, but um, yeah, a white supremacist would likely be wearing something Australian themed, I dare say, and was apparently. At least it wasn't a South's jersey. Can you imagine that? <laughs> That's the la the last thing that South Sydney need right now is a uh, bloody stabber running around in a in a Rabbitohs jersey. But yeah, crazy stuff happening there. All right, uh, Waste of World of Sports. I need to have myself a very quick break while we get ready for this next game. Uh, give me a few minutes, yes, and I'll be back. This stream will be staying active. Parramatta Cowboys coming up after this. Nee Crumbler says you should come to New Zealand to watch a game live. I would love that. I would love, honestly, I know I said I was going on a break, but Nee Crumbler just got me on a topic. I would love nothing more than to do a, uh, a, a live stream from various location around the place. 
That'd be great. I would love to come and do a live show in New Zealand. That'd be fantastic. I would love that. I'll be doing stuff in... I'll be doing stuff in um, Sydney and Melbourne and uh, Sunshine Coast coming up. But uh, yeah, a, a New Zealand thing would be great. I would love nothing more. It's on my bucket list. My bucket list would be to do a uh, an All Blacks game live in New Zealand. I love my All Blacks. I would love to experience before I die an All Blacks game, live in person. That'd be fabulous. Brilliant, brilliant stuff. All right, Waste to Water Sports. I'm going to have a very quick break. And uh, we'll be back for the second game. Parramatta Reels, North Queensland Cowboys. Still plenty more to come here on the Waste to Water Sports right after this.
world of sports, eh? Oh, he's copped a head right to the nuts. Tedesco's butt crack. Ahoy! He's nearly taken security's head off. I have no idea what the wasted world of sports is. Quentin Paul, what did you miss? You missed a blockbuster. Holy hell. What a game we just witnessed. 22 points all. The Warriors and Manly. What a match. Let's go. Let's hope for another one. Another good one. Parramatta. North Queensland Cowboys. Let's go. Wasted water sports. Oh, better switch that multi off the screen. Kickoff about to get underway. I didn't get a chance to get a multi on for this one. We are off and running. Parramatta Cowboys, let's go. Should be another cracker of a contest. Parramatta, I think, have got a little bit better balance in their halves this week. Dylan Brown is is uh, just slowly growing into the number seven role, and Dejon Arcee, I think, is a better choice than Blaze Talungi. No offense to Talungi. Talungi was an absolute gun in the centers, is my reason for saying so. Keep Talungi in the centers. Well, Talungi's out tonight. Blaze. But uh, a little bit better balance, I think, with Dejon Arcee and Dylan Brown in the halves for the Eels. No Mike Acevo. The axe has been swung. Just got a feeling about the Eels tonight. The Cowboys get through their first set. The Cowboys have a, a tendency to leak points, and that concerns me about them. If Parramatta can get it together, they could carve up, potentially. I've taken a risk on them. I've taken a risk, a leap of faith. Can they repay me? They let me down badly last week. I changed the tip to the Eels right at the last second, right before kickoff. So we'll see if it even went through. It might have been too late. It might not have registered. Kyle Felt breaks away. Space up the middle. Gutherson gets across. Misses the tackle, Gutherson. They've dragged down the Cowboys. Ten out from the line. Back inside to the Chad, is it? No, the Chad's there in dummy half. They're offside here, the Eels, surely. Dearden, cut out pass to Val Holmes. Holmes steps back in field. Crunched in a three-man tackle. Tackle four. Electric start. Kyle Felt winding back the clock. Cletus in midfield out the back. Space out to the right. Kyle Felt into the corner. And that was a little bit too easy. Kyle Felt started it. Kyle Felt finished it. Where was the defense? I'm uh, starting to hope not, UFC. <laughs> that, was a, that was an atrocious start. Abysmal. I'm hoping it didn't go through. Ah, there's plenty of time left. Bailey Simonson doing the Morgan Harper. Caught way, way in field. Oh, hang on. This try might not be given. This, hang on. This might not be given. I've just seen the replay, and this one might get scrubbed out. I have just seen the replay, and this one could get taken away. And will be. 
Dejon Arcee's been taken out of the defensive line. And this will be a penalty to the Eels. Off the hook early. I just saw the replay out of the corner of my eye. Clear obstruction. Plain as day. The try is taken off them. Penalty to the Eels and a wake-up call. Madeline Suzette, ahoy there. Welcome along, Madeline. You picked the Cowboys in the tipping comp. Oh, spill ball. <laughs> What's that, Morgan? Was that Morgan Harper? Heel fries, ahoy, mate. Morgan Harper has lost it on tackle one. Oh, my goodness. They were just let off the hook with the try. And now Morgan Bloody Harper on tackle one loses the ball on the halfway line. Jeez. Unforgivable stuff, really. Early in the tackle count, in your own half, Dearden, inside ball to Talungi. I've gone with the Eels tonight, Heel Fries, so hopefully they can get their act together. They have not started well, though. They were let off the hook with an obstruction. The Cowboys already have gone over the line. Cletus in midfield, out to the Chad. Numbers to burn out on the right again. Drinkwater can't get the arms free. Oh, it was on. It was on. Chad, down the short side, they go again. Dearden goes to ground on tackle four, 20 out. Hot start here for the Cowboys. Chad in midfield to Cletus. Cletus out the back to Drinkwater. Holmes, space out wide for Talungi. Cuts back in field, fifth and last. 10 out from the line, cross field kick. In midfield, taken by Nene. Jeremiah Nene. Can they find a way to take this one off them? It goes up as a try under the post. Where were the Parramatta jumpers? Where was the Parramatta defense? Nowhere to be seen once again. Lazy in midfield. What was Sean Lane doing? He was just standing there. Sean Lane just stands there as Jeremiah Nanai leaps over the top. Having no halves is no excuse for having no defense, though, UFC. I don't know what the hell that was. They were all just standing there, ball watching. Every single one of them. Jeremiah Nanai just bumps Sean Lane off and says, I'll have that, thank you very much. There was absolutely no fight anywhere in that defensive line. I've never seen anything like it. Just a whole team of players standing back and, and just ball watching. Jeremiah Nanai with the easiest try he will ever score in his career. I think we get the last game, UFC. I think, uh, I think everybody gets a, a point. I think we all, I think we're all still on. I mean, I don't know. We've not had a tie before, so I don't know what happens. Val Holmes from right in front throws it over for the Cowboys. Six points to nil. The Eels, surely they already had one wake-up call. If they didn't, that one's got to be. 
What was everybody doing? So, all right, only seven minutes gone, and North Queensland have no defense to speak of. So it'll be an interesting game. You've got uh, you've got one team with very ordinary attack, and you've got one team with no defense. It's going to be a very intriguing game, this one. Richard Hetta, come on, North Queensland Cowboys. So it could realistically be a dire old game, this one. A team missing a halfback and a team that doesn't know how to defend. Couldn't tackle their way out of a paper bag. The Cowboys. Should be a high-scoring match. Either way. I've got um, two-plus tries. Two plus tries in each half. Here they go down the left hand edge. Well tackled. Val Holmes spills the ball. And an error on halfway. Opportunity knocking. Well, Matitsgro. Ahoy. Para will get flogged, says Wilma. The spilt ball from Val Holmes. They had good shape out there to the left, the Cowboys. UFC says the bookie did pay out both manly pick and warrior pick in the multi. So that, that is that is good. I'm not sure what happens in the tipping contest when uh, a draw happens, but I'm pretty sure. Well, that's fair, James Strong, but rest assured the Cowboys don't have any defensive now either. Penalty here to the Eels. Take the two. Oh, they've tapped and gone quickly. No, the referee says, come back and take it on the mark. Take the two. Take the two. Take. No, they've tapped and gone. Well, that was very premeditated. Parramatta, 20 metres out from the line. Inside ball. Two, Offerhen Galway, that is. Offerhen Galway, the 16. In midfield, Gutherson to Arcee. Arcee to Sean Lane. Wrapped up for tackle three. Yeah, I think this could be a very high-scoring game. I really do. Arcee. Across to Offerhen Galway, who goes straight through and scores under the posts. And we're all locked up here. Ten minutes gone. We're all locked up. Six all. Well, he hasn't kicked it yet, but surely he will. It is right in front of the post. Off ahead, Gowie, th straight through that very soft underbelly of defense of the Cowboys. This is what I was talking about. The Cowboys cannot defend. The Cowboys are happy, seemingly, to not learn how to defend either. The Cowboys this year seem to, team, seem to be content with saying, you score 30, we'll score 31. And off of Hengawi just goes through a really, really weak attempt to tackle. And then Dearden and Drinkwater and Robson, three, can't hold on. And off of Hengawi plants, plants it down. James is just trying the old uh, reverse psychology at the moment. The old reverse psychology, I do it with the Sharks all the time. Set yourself up for failure. You won't be disappointed, but you might get a happy surprise. Gutherson from right in front. We're all locked up. Six points all. Ten minutes gone. My prediction of a high-scoring game. Looks like it's on the cards. How have you been, James? Uh, James uh, Spanner James. James Wilmer. How's your day been? Nowhere near Bondi, I hope. Today.
better not say anything about Bondi though, just in case it's taken as the streamer keeps making jokes about Bondi and laughing. Cat Lego, ahoy there. Plus 50 points loading. Absolutely. Anyone who had overs in this game, get ready. This one's going to explode. Penalty here to the Eels. Yeah, I saw that UFC. Thanks for that, mate. Because if you didn't, I would have. <laughs> I mean, honest, honestly, when was I joking and, and laughing about it? Not once did I make a joke about it or laugh about it, except for the very start before we knew what was going on, when I might have suggested it was Michelle who did it. That was the only joke that I made about it. And it was at the expense of Michelle, not the event. Oh, no. Tackle two, and the Eels have lost the ball. Jermaine Hopgood. But anyway, let's, let's not talk about that nonce. The more important thing at the moment, Parramatta dropped the ball early in the tackle count again. <laughs> it's all right, Jack. Wilma Titsgro. There's plenty of time left in the game. Horrible mistake, though. Have you had any? I've got, I had a bet voided. I had a. Uh, I had a, a a a future bet. I jumped in nice and early, and the bet's now been voided. So I'm guessing. Uh, Yeah, I had a bet on the Everest 1,200 meters, which isn't until October. I jumped in really early, and I guess, I don't know, the horse has been scratched or something. It got voided today anyway. So that was interesting that a, a bet so far out, somebody's been pulled from that race already. Fifth and last for the Cowboys. Chad puts the kick high for the corner. Tap back by the Cowboys. Chad's got it. Set restarts. The tackle count restarts and Drinkwater now passes to John Cena. It pops up for Tao Lungi, though. A full set of six incoming now for the Cowboys. This is going to be a loose game. <laughs> this is going to be one loose game, I tell you. Tackle one, 10 metres out from the line. Mistakes galore everywhere from both sides. Dearden, Talmalolo to the chat. Chad will kick on tackle one, looking for Kyle Felt, and it's over the touchline, over the dead ball line. Goal line dropout, yes, or 20 metre restart. Goal line dropout, it looks like. A kick on tackle one from the Chad. Oh, this should be a 20 metre restart. That was knocked on by Kyle Felt. Yeah. Sports Vault says, did anyone watch Randwick number eight today? Chucked a bet on Pride of Jenny, and it was leading 40 lengths, one by 15 lengths. Got to be the most insane race in a very long time. Seven tackle set here for the Eels, and not a good sign that Lusick dropped the ball before the tap's even taken. That's got to be alarming. Got the bloody dropsies, the eels. I mean, Mitchell Moses being out of the team does not, um, uh, does not, um, the ball handling is not a result of Mitch Moses being out, is what I'm trying to say. That's just basic stuff. Penasini steps through, gets the offload back to Gutherson, it could open up here. Hopgood shut down in midfield. A crusher tackle right in in front. That should be a penalty. It is. Crusher tackle every day of the week. Take the two. Take the two. Take the two. Take the lead. Pressure on the neck from Talma Lolo. That is not pressure that you want. Because that is one big unit down on the back of your neck. They are taking the two. Clint Gutherson says, we will have the two points, thanks. And the Parramatta Eels are about to lead this match.
Parramatta about to take the lead from right out in front. Two points on offer. There wasn't, James. There really wasn't, but you can't do it. In 2024, you just can't do it. You can't put any pressure on the neck at all, and Talmalolo did. That's a penalty every day of the week. There was absolutely nothing in it, I agree, but that's the rules in 2024. Gutherson misses it! Oh, it holds its line and goes through. Oh, that scared the absolute bollocks out of me. I thought that he hooked it, but it manages to come back around and hold its line. And it's eight points to six. The Eels leading a sly smile from Gutherson because he realizes how close that was to missing. 16 minutes gone, and it's the home side leading by two. Did anyone notice the tattoo on the neck of Bronson Sherry? No, I didn't. It wasn't American Nightmare, was it? The absolute worst tattoo of all time, Cody Rhodes. Cowboys get us back underway. Or does Cody have a new contender? All right, I'll look it up. Let's have a look. I'm curious to see. Does Cody Rhodes have a contender for worst ever tattoo in the history of tattoos? Now, Parramatta go expansive, play early, tackle one. Sean Russell bumps away. It's called a forward pass. It's called a forward pass. They have made a mistake early in the tackle count again here, the Eels. A forward pass, play an expansive out of their own end. Oh, the tattoo goes back to the occult. Bronson Sherry. Neck tattoo. It's not this one, is it? Is that is that it? That's the one? Yeah, okay. <clears throat> Finifuake. A meter short of the line on tackle three. Dearden to the Chad. They've got numbers out to the right. The Cowboys, can they get it there? Drinkwater feeds it on to Tom Chester. Chester slides over the line, plants it down, and the Cowboys have scored to reclaim the lead on the back of some stupid play from the Eels out of their own end. Tom Chester slides over the line. And I told you, this is going to be a high-scoring game. And it's Morgan Harper. Morgan bloody Harper is about 70 metres infield, racing in. He's playing in the centres, and he is still racing in off his line, for Christ's sake. Morgan Harper down to reserve grade, please. He goes out on the wing. He races in all the time. He's in the centers. He races in. What was he doing there? Ten points to eight kicks to come. A very high scoring game in the works here. Holmes with the conversion attempt. Moves in. Strikes it. It's off target at the moment. It holds its line out to the left. 10 points to 8. It remains. 
Quentin Paul says a seesaw game will be tough to pick. Absolutely. So what's the um, representation on that one there, James? That tattoo, I mean. I'm, go I'm going back to the tattoo. It's very intriguing. I wonder what they think about that. They being the NRL. What does the, what's the NRL think about uh, religious symbolism brandied about like that? Quarter of the way through this contest, ten points to eight. Game in the balance. Tomalolo. With the hit up, tackle three. Cowboys leading it, 10 points to eight. Robson from dummy half. Shut down just short of the halfway line. Not much, all tattoos are dumb. <laughs> I've no, I don't have one, UFC. I've always thought about it, but then it's like I've never... I've never... Uh, there's not anything really. I think, I suppose, honestly, if I were to get a tattoo, because I've thought about it long and hard. Oh, busting through the middle. Sean Russell brought to ground. Oh, defense flaky on both sides. Chickens, ahoy there, mate. I guess um, having thought about it and having... having um, a lot of debate about what would I want... They're knocked on by the Cowboys, and this will be Parramatta ball. Not called! It's not called! The knock-on is not called, and the Cowboys have it. 40 metres out from the Eels line. Oh, that is a huge missed non-call there by the referee. Cowboys get away with it. Mel, ahoy there. Half-time, Hurricanes 17, Chiefs 13. And uh, Gamer Mel, how was last game? Wasn't able to watch. He went to Golden Point. And it ended up a 22-all tie. Uh, no, he dropped it, DJ Shaq, on my screen. Anyway. On my screen, he dropped it quite, quite coldly. <laughs> Fifth and last here for the Cowboys. Drinkwater grubbers into the end goal. Does a sit-up. It's an awkward bounce. And the Cowboys keep it alive somehow. This is a mess at the back. And a goal line dropout incoming for the Eels. Uh, what am I looking up? Two Apple logo, alien image. Oh, this is going to be a seven tackle set for the Eels. I think Kyle Felt has put a foot on the end goal line. Yes, he has. Seven tackle set. Oh, no. Yes. Seven tackle set for the Eels. Lucky. Seventeen minutes to go till the halftime break. Pluto. That one's definitely yours, James. Definitely yours. Pluto with the hit up. Huh? Oh, yeah. Two apples. Um, where is it? Two apple logo alien image. The Cowboys come away with it again. Oh, no. The eels are self-destructing here. Right before our very eyes. What the hell is this? It looks like Mr. Burns. Sixteen minutes to go until the break. Ten points to eight, Cowboys, Eels, self-destructing. 
right before our very eyes with their ball handling or lack thereof. 20 out from the line. Dearden, dummies to Cletus. Runs cross field, links up with Holmes. Space for Talungi, must score. Talungi flying through the air. Plants it down. Try in the corner, 14 points to eight kick to come. Probably not, James. I think very little is a coincidence these days. Very, very little is a coincidence. Val Holmes, the draw and pass to Talungi. Does he get it down in time? It looks like it. Ooh, or does he? We need to have a look at this. Front on will tell us quite clearly. Yes, he Oh, yes, he does. Never in doubt. Never in doubt. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I've spilt my drink everywhere. He's out. He's out. It's fantastic defense from Sean Russell. He's tackled him over the... Sorry, Alara. Scared the absolute bollocks out of her. I screamed so loud. And I've spilt my drink everywhere because I kept pouring even though I was looking at the screen and I missed the glass completely. He's out. Sean Russell. What a tackle. And this is no try. The Eels survive. Oh, wow. No try. Take that away. It remains 10 points to 8. I tell you what, if Parramatta do not use this as motivation, they need to look at everything that's gone on, okay? Kyle Felt had a try scrubbed out in the first three minutes. And then the Cowboys had another one rubbed out. If they don't look at this and go, we should be out of this game. We're behind by two. And don't use this to spark themselves up. This has got to be a penalty to the Eels. Surely it is an illegal rake of the ball. The kick into touch up over halfway. Yeah, if they don't use this as, as motivation to um, really bring themselves back into this contest, then I have no hope for them. Pluto puts the head down, charges forward, offloads back to Lusick. Brown in midfield. The offloads continue to flow. Arcee, dummies, almost skips through. Gets the offload back to Lusick. Oh, this is the frantic style of play that we're so used to seeing from the Eels a couple of years ago. 10 metres out from the line now on tackle two. Sure. Going to see if the Truman Show is real. How good was that, the Truman Show? What a fantastic movie. Tackle four here, the Eels. Five out from the line. Crash ball. Good tackle from Cletus. Fifth and last. What can they come up with here, the Eels? Brown. Shapes to kick. There's no support. Back in field. And it's a try for Freddie Lussick. Oh, Joey Lussick. Who, the, who in Christ's name is Freddie Lussick? Try for Joey Lussick. And the Eels take the lead again. 12 points to 10. Kick to come. And this game continues to be completely bereft of defense. Penasini fires the one-handed offload back in field. Peter Griffin Neem gets his ankles broken with the step and sliding in beside the posts. What a try. The Eels take the lead. <laughs> Bloody Freddy Lussick.
All right. Hey. What's happening, Alara? Falcor? Falcor Jones? What's been happening? Huh? I, you've uh, not been the same since I uh, screamed about that no try earlier. Hey? It freaked you out a little bit, did it? It's all right. I, th I thought you'd be used to that by now. Hey, Me going absolutely batshit crazy. Calling the games. <laughs> Conversion successful, and the Eels lead this 14 points to 10. Oh, no. Dropped ball from the kickoff. It's gone backwards. Thank the Lord above. Hamish says we should play Planet Crafter. The hell's that? Sounds like a, sounds like a party Jesus game, that one. Party Jesus has played like a hundred and one thousand and forty two hours or something ridiculous of, of satisfactory. Have you heard of that one, Hamish? Satisfactory. Lussick, the try scorer, goes on a dart up towards halfway. Uh Nenai did did uh yes he did, I think. Jeremiah Nenai was the first try scorer, wasn't he? Fifth and last. Drinkwater has it at the back for the Cowboys. 14-10, the Eels lead. 11 minutes to go till the break. Two ticks. Good job, sir. What else do you need? Holmes and Felt. Penalty to the Cowboys. There are penalties galore. Errors galore. This game is a mess, but boy, it's been enjoyable. It has been really enjoyable. It has no right to be. It's been a disaster a game, but very enjoyable nonetheless. Lucas uploads. Can you believe Sea Eagles and Warriors had a draw? Not really. That was a, a, an incredible game. Oh, taken high. This should be a penalty to the Cows, and it is. That was a high shot and a half, that one. Dearden's had his head taken off by Dylan Brown there. DJ Shaq says, with how destructive Junior Paulo, it, Pluto, with how destructive Pluto is, I seriously don't understand why Parrot insists on using him as of this interchange role. Why wait? Because he single-handedly changes the face, shape, and look of Parramatta when he's on the field. Yeah, but that's probably a fair call, DJ Shaq. I get what they're trying to do. I understand the mentality behind it. He's destructive as it is, so make him even more destructive as an interchange against tiring defenders. I understand that, but at the same time, he has such impact. To your point, DJ Shaq, he has so much impact. Why not have him on from the start? But I can see completely what they're trying to do. Impact player off the bench against Tyrone Defense. The, uh, yeah. Dearden, inside ball. Finifuaki. Tackle three, 10 meters just to the left of the post. Robson to Dearden in midfield. Out the back of shape to Chad. To drink water. They've got space to burn out on the right again. Well defended from Morgan Harper. I can't believe I'm saying that. I cannot believe I've actually just said 
Great defense from Morgan Harper. Fifth and last for the Cowboys. Trailing by four. They shape right side. They go left. Chad's got it. Grubbers into the end goal. It sits up and it's tapped dead by Clint Gutherson. It'll be a goal line dropout. Seven minutes to go till the halftime break. Oh, that was such a high shot. That was just such a lazy defense from Brown. Short dropout. It's been lost by the Cowboys. It's been spilt by the Cowboys. And this time, the referee calls it. It's been knocked on. Do they challenge it? They do. Oh, the Cowboys have gone the captain's challenge. They seemed convinced. They go the captain's challenge, the cows. And uh, I can understand why. This is a great captain's challenge because they're going to win it. Scrum down. Hang on, who's got the ball? Was the challenge successful or not? Yes, it was. Cowboys ball. That was the original call and knock on. That was shocking, wasn't it? Scrum down, 10 meters out. Cowboys ball, here is their chance to pinch the lead before half time. They go to the left, Dearden is wrapped up. All the support players overread him. 10 out from the line, Cowboys. Full set of six incoming, cause it's six again. Wrapped up in midfield, five out from the line. Robson. Oh, crashing through the line and falling just short. Nanai looking for a double. Tackle two, a meter out. And what? He's lost the ball, Jeremiah Nanai. That's a huge mistake. High fives all around from Parramatta. Oh, I know that the goof is there for the referee's call, but now I'm putting it on the screen for Jeremiah Nanai. Tackle three, losing the ball a meter short from the try line. What a huge mistake that is with five and a half to go till the halftime break. High fives all around for the Eels. They are pumped. You haven't seen that. We have not seen that from the Eels. They're pumped up. It's good to see. They haven't really shown that level of enthusiasm for the past few weeks. It's good to see them so appreciative of their efforts there. 54% completion rate, though. Holy hell. 54% completion rate for this entire half is disgraceful. How are they in the lead? How are they leading this game with a 54% completion rate? Fifth and last, Gutherson takes the tackle on halfway. Arcee puts the kick up. He's had his leg taken out. This should be a penalty. Tap back from the Eels. They've still got it. Parramatta looking for the second kick. Firing it back in field. The Chad's got it. That really should be a penalty to Parramatta. We saw um, a penalty go against Manly in the previous game when the kickers had his leg taken out. So I don't understand why that wasn't a penalty then for the kicker having his leg taken out. And Parramatta have decided to challenge it. And the... Uh, the uh, we saw this in the last game. 
contact with the leg of the kicker has been shown to be a penalty from the charge down. We saw it in the last game. Successful challenge. Take the two. Take the two. Extend the lead. We saw it last game. They had no choice but to award that. Great captain's challenge from the Eels. Wilma Titsgro says this ref looks like a vampire. <laughs> That's why they gave him the night games. Oh, they tap and go. They want more. They smell blood in the water here, the Eels. They want more points. They don't want the two. They want to crack on and go for more. Surrendering. 10 meters out from the line is Freddie Lussick. I'm just going to call him Freddie Lussick now. That's his name forevermore. Pluto cuts back in field. Looks for the offload. It's risky. Harsey dives on it. Oh, that's dangerous play early in the tackle count. Hold the ball, Eels. Hold the bloody ball. Moretti. Takes tackle four. Five meters out right in front of the post. Lussick to the right-hand side. Cartwright just takes tackle five. Not really firing a shot at the moment here, the Eels. No shape. Arcee puts the kick in behind it. It's dropped by Kyle Felt, and they almost steal a try. They almost stole one there, the Eels. Penalties of the Cowboys, though. The chasers inside the 10 meters in front of the kicker. <sighs> Chad puts this into touch and the Cowboys will start the set. 35 out from their own line. Three minutes to go. They should get an, an attacking kick away at the end of this set and have last say in the first half. Two minutes 40 left in the half. Parramatta, I... I I struggle to say that they've done well so far. They're leading. They are winning the match at the moment on the scoreboard, but I really do struggle to say that they're doing well. Peter Griffin, <laughs> Heel Fry says, Dan, loving the character development. When you first started the channel, you hated the eels. Now you, now you like them. I've gone from uh, heel baby from heel to baby face for Parramatta fans everywhere. Fifth and last, Cowboys twenty out from the line. Chad puts the kick high, pressure on the kick chase taken by Gutherson. Oh, the king stands firm in the face of the chasers and the Eels with two minutes to go. Unless they do something completely stupid, should be taking the lead into the halftime break. A minute 40 left on the clock. Harper. Oh, God. Hearts in mouths whenever he touches the ball, I'm sure. A minute and a half to go. Tackle four already. Cowboys might get another set in here. Gutherson takes hit up. Tackle five on halfway. The boss. Ahoy there, mate. Thank you very much for the kind words. Fifth and last, and they go through the hands here. The Eels are going to run it. Penasini puts the grubber kick through for Brown. Brown gets boots to the loose ball, but it pops up for drink water. And a penalty now to the Cowboys. A minute to go till the halftime break. Wait. Who got the penalty? The Eels get the penalty. Take the two. Take the two. Take the two. Parramatta get the penalty for impeding the kick chaser. Cletus and Dearden are blowing up at the referee. Parramatta have a chance here. Obstructing the kick chaser. They have a shot here with 26 seconds to go to make it a converted try the difference. Yeah, Pen <laughs> Penasini has put the kick through and Taolangi has taken out, I want to say it was Bailey Simonson in back play. No, it was Sean Russell. 
Tao Lungi has just backed into Sean Russell and taken him out. And that is a clear penalty for obstructing the kick chase. And an opportunity here for Gutherson to extend the lead. A lead that, quite honestly, they don't deserve to have. They really don't. They've completed at 54%. Well, probably a little bit more now. It would have gone up. That number would have boosted up. But they were completing at one point at uh, at 54% only in this first half. How they have the lead in this match, I do not know. But here's a chance to extend it. Gutherson moves in. It's off target and it misses horribly. Off to the left. And it remains 14 points to 10 at half time. Who is the captain for the Cowboys? That's a good question. I don't think it is Cletus. I can't imagine that it would be. The captain for the Cowboys is Tom Dearden. There you go. So why Cletus felt the need to get involved, I don't know. But Tom Dearden being there makes perfect sense now. Screaming at the referee like he was. Parramatta, the most unlikely of leads. 14 points to 10 into the break. Whew. Wow, this is going to go down to the wire, isn't it? This is going down to the wire. With 40 minutes left to go. Game on here. Oh, the ref was saying to Dearden, you're not captain. Are you sure he was saying it to Dearden? Or was he saying it to Cletus? Because they were both standing there together, remember. So maybe he was saying, oi, Cletus. I don't know. 14. All I do know is 14 points to 10. Parramatta. With the lead, slender as it may be, undeserving, probably, to be fair. I mean, based on stats, purely based on the stats, they have no right to be in the lead. But they are 14 10 and half time. Waste the world of sports. I'll have a very quick break. We'll be right back for what should be a blockbuster of a second 40 minutes. I mean, jeez, this game is, is delicately poised. Great game in the making. Once again, we've already seen a good one today. Here's hoping for another one. Second half coming up after this.
Smashed it. Smashed it. Waste to World of Sports. Oi, half time here. Parramatta leading 14 points to 10. Completely unexpected. I've got to say, I changed my tip right on the stroke of kickoff. I wasn't even sure if it if it went through. I changed my tip that late or tried to change my tip that late. I'm not even sure that it went through. I just had a feeling approaching half time, uh, approaching full time, sorry, of that uh, Warriors manly game. I just had a feeling. It's one of those days where everything just gets shaken up. And I had a feeling about the Eels. The first six or seven rounds, very difficult to predict, really, because we don't know. We still don't know where every team sits. It ended up being a draw, Warriors and, and Manly, yes. They had their opportunity, the Warriors. 22 all, golden point. I think it was golden point period number one. The Warriors were tackle three. Tackle three, 30 metres out from Manly's line. Tohu Harris knocked the ball on in the play of the ball. They were setting up. Sean Johnson was in the pocket waiting. One more play. Sean Johnson would have had the ball, would have fired off a shot from about 25 out. Tohu Harris knocked the ball on in the play of the ball. Who's Fred? I don't know who Freddie is. Freddie Lussick. That's just his name now. I've got to add it to my nickname team, actually. He is just Freddie Lussick from now on. I actually do have a list. I've got a list. I've got a list of your contributions, James. I've got a list of uh, the other players that I've randomly come up with that I just decide to call. But um, we've got to add Freddie. Freddie Lussick's got to be his name for now and forever. Freddie Lussick. Gee, ahoy there. Welcome back. So we've got... Um, we've got the Wasted Water Sports nickname team. Pain in the Haas. Obvious. That's an obvious one from the Broncos. The Big D. Dean Dane Mariner from the Broncos. Slim Shady, Kalen Ponga from the Knights, Soul Glow, DWZ from the Warriors, The Love Bug, Herbie Farnworth, obviously, from the Dolphins, The Chad, that's an obvious one. Chad's playing right now. Big Bad Bunty, Bunty Afoa from the Warriors, Pluto, Junior Paulo from the Eels, Regan Two Dads, RCG from the Eels. Now we've got Freddie Lussick, also from the Eels. Uh, Military Dylan or, or GI Dylan. Dylan Edwards from the Panthers. Holy moly, Olakowatu from Manly, which um, I, I, I don't say that all the time anymore because I, I noticed that Fox Sports have cottoned onto it and they use that as well. So it'd be very hard to claim that one now that uh, Fox and everyone started using it. But it's okay. It's a very obvious one. Aoli Source, Josh Alloy from Manly. Peter Griffin Neem from the Cowboys. Mike Grislowski is uh, Jack Gosowski from the Cowboys. I don't think he's playing tonight, is he? Is old Mike Grislowski playing tonight? Cletus, Ruben Cotter, Karma Chameleon from the Storm, King Jaffe Joffa from the Titans, Jamin. Jamin, I still don't even know how to say his name. I call him King Jaffe Joffer anyway. His name's Jamin Jolly Fee. Jolly Fee. I don't know what he's got. I don't know what his bloody name is. His name's King Jaffe Joffer to me. So, yeah, I, I do have a list there of uh, a nickname. And Ming the Merciless is the coach. Also involved in the game tonight. Ming's got to be the coach. Or uh, or it could be a toss-up because I call Parramatta coach Brad Arthur Beavis all the time as well. So could be a toss-up there. Who's a coach and assistant coach? 
Ming the Merciless and Beavis. Jar Jar Binks. Who's Jar Jar Binks? Tedesco could be Mario. How could Tedesco be Mario? Needs to be somebody with a moustache, right? Oh, Italian. Okay. I understand. I understand. Fourteen points to ten here at half time. Parramatta. Really, I've got to say, undeserving, quite frankly. I mean, I've tipped them and I'm going for them, but Jesus Christ, to be leading on the back of the statistics. This game is making me uneasy, says James. I can understand because you wouldn't have, you wouldn't have too much security going into halftime. On the back of the stats, the stats are alarming. So Parramatta are le leading 14 points to 10. But 55% possession to the Cowboys, yes? 70% completion rate to the Eels, 58. 50 bloody 8% completion rate. How are they in the lead? How are they in the lead? They're getting killed in run meters. The average set distance, 43 meters for the Cowboys, 33 for the Eels. I mean, they're just getting destroyed in pretty much every facet of the game except the scoreboard. 43% kick defusal percentage to the Cowboys, 75. Well, I guess this is what we're talking about. We're talking about, uh, I said... You've got one team with no halves and you've got the other team with no defense. And here's the stat that probably really evens things out in defense. The Cowboys with 78.88% effective tackle percentage in defense to the Eels 90%. If you are that poor defensively, and that's what we were talking about, isn't it? The Cowboys just have no defense 20 ineffective tackles to zero. I mean, that that really does even things up. That really does even things up. The Cowboys just really, really weak defense. So as much as Parramatta are struggling on attack defensively, the Cowboys just have nothing. Back underway for the second half, and it's out on the full. It's a disastrous start for the Cowboys. The kick has gone out on the full from the restart from Scott Drinkwater, and that's what you get. You should be drinking beer. Take the two from halfway right out in front. Penalty on halfway. Parramatta plug it into touch, 30 out from the line. This could be a dream start to the second 40. And Quentin Paul rightfully says the only scoreboard, uh, the only stat that matters is the scoreboard, which is a completely fair call. I don't think Parramatta will be complaining too much about how they have no right to be ahead. They'll be taking it. They'll just accept it. Pluto dummies runs head first into Cletus. Rocks him backwards, and Cletus and Peter Griffin Neem hold on. Tackle three. They're racing through this tackle count here. The Eels. Brown goes to ground, just to the left of the post. Tackle four. Big chance here for Parramatta. Lusick out to Pluto. Pluto takes them on, gets the arms free. Can't get the offload. Fifth and last. A metre short. They stay on the short side. Racing up was Val Holmes, was offside surely, although Val Holmes is quick, and that will be a handover. A meek and meaningless end to the set there from the Eels. But it's great field position to start this second half. 
Yeah, Val Holmes is very quick, in fairness. What a start to the second 40. A kick out on the full. Parramatta with great field position. Fifth and last now for the Cowboys, just shy of the halfway line. A kick from dummy half, straight down the middle of the field, pops up nicely for Gutherson. It was served up on a platter for him. And the Eels have the ball back. Simonson in midfield, looking for a one-on-one -on -one strip. Oh, is that a hip drop? Is that a hip drop? Is this a hip drop? Bailey Simonson falls awkward in the tackle. He's fallen very awkwardly. His leg rocks backwards in contact. I mean, that is a hip drop. Unfortunate. <laughs> Send off, says Moronic Dishbaggery. Get him off. Get him off the field right now. It doesn't look like anything's going to happen. Play on. I mean, I think that's fair enough, but we've seen those called, haven't we? In midfield, Parramatta still have the ball. Most importantly, tackle three. Up over halfway. Uh, have, you, have you called them out on this UFC? You've got to call the person out on it. I mean, don't, if, you accept, if you accept little lies, little lies will turn into big lies. You've got to call them out on it. And you can call people out on, on you can call people out on BS without being a dick about it, you know? Cause there could be there could be reasons for it. Don't necessarily suggest that they're good reasons, but I'm saying there could be reasons for it. You can call somebody out on BS without being an asshole. But if you let little things go, they turn into big things as now eels go down the right hand edge. Tackle four, quick play of the ball for Gutherson. Backs into the defense. Fifth and last. But yes, in my experiences, if you let little things go, they turn into big things very rapidly. As this ball sits up for Morgan Harper. And Morgan Harper, the man, the myth, the living legend himself, the best defense in the NRL, gets a try. The best defender in NRL history comes up with a try. You don't have to be an asshole about it. You know, you can just say, just out of curiosity, this thing. Well, I couldn't help but notice that. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what the situation is, so I don't know what the wording would be. But it's like, hey, just out of curiosity, you said this, but this is actually what happened. What was the, you know, what was up with that? What was the go with that? Polite, friendly banter. Get an answer. Summate that answer, if that's a word. And go from there. Try confirmed, Morgan Harper, the man, the myth, the legend himself. 18 points to 10, the Eels extend. <laughs> Moronic Mar Douchebaggery says, Harper is up there with Ruben Wiki as a defender. <laughs> and Trevor Gilmeister. From right in front of the post, Gutherson converts and Parramatta lead 20 points to 10. Sports Vault says Ma um, Harper looks like Mario, actually, now that it's on my mind. Maybe the Disney Mario? Disney Channel Mario?
you know, because Disney take all the characters and, and make them darker. <laughs> Actually, he is very much more like Luigi. <laughs> Under, he is 100% a Disney plus Luigi. Oh, Morgan Harper, Disney plus Luigi. That's it. It's done. It's done. I'm adding it to the list. It's going on my list. Morgan Harper, Morgan Harper, Disney Channel Luigi. He does very much look like Sid the Sloth, he all fries. Unfortunately, I associate Sid the Sloth with Max Verstappen in Formula One, so it would be very hard for me to, to run with that. Oh, he's bumped it up to 60% now, the cheeky bugger. He's claiming 60% of them now. We've got one new edition, and he's bumped up 20% from what he said the other night. <laughs> one more edition, and he's gone up 20%. All right. Sorry. Distracted. Penalty here to the Cowboys. That <laughs> Ming the Merciless is the best one, absolutely hands down. Because I had, I had no idea. I needed explaining to me who Ming the Merciless was, and to top it all off, we even did AI generated um, Peyton as Ming the Merciless. Mel, ahoy there. Good on the eels. They're doing well. Meanwhile, Hurricanes 24, Chiefs 23. Thank you very much, Mel, for the uh, around the grounds. Uh, legitimately, very much appreciated. Cowboys go quick. Robson from dummy half. Space opens up. Robson gets through. Offloads to Dearden. Dearden is brought down by Gutherson. Fifth and last. They're 15 out here. The Cowboys crossfield kick. It's tapped down and the Eels come away with it. Bailey Simonson goes to ground. Five meters out from their own line here. Michael Jennings is gorillas in the mist. I'm not touching the bloody monkey or ape thing. All right. We're not going anywhere near that. That's a hard pass. Hard pass from me on that one. Up towards the halfway line. The Eels leading by 10. 30 minutes to go. <laughs> Leave the monkeys. Oh no, spilt ball. Spilt ball by Sean Lane again. He's had a nightmare of a game. Sean Lane has really been off the pace tonight. Very off the pace. I hear a special guest. I hear a special guest. Oh. Special everyone hoped. <laughs> but he is special. Very. I hear a guest is the one and only Pencil Pat. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for making my misery that much better. <laughs> so what happened was the game before this one went into extra time. That's why we're running a little bit late. Huh. So. Extra um, time is in. Have I failed? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> no. They went to the end of the game and nobody won. It was 22 points all at the end. Nobody got the, the win. Which so, um, there's another name. Well, I don't know if he really appreciates that one, but no. it certainly stuck. Yeah. <laughs> it certainly stuck. We were even going to release T-shirts. Oh, now he's monetizing me. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I, I see opportunity. I see opportunity, and I take it. Fifth and last here for the Cowboys. Down the short side, they go, Dead and... Fires the pass out to Val Holmes, and he's wrapped up. Has he got to the line? Holmes, that's a no try, surely. He's cl it's gone up as a try, and he's claiming it. There is no way that got to ground. 
Well, look now. <laughs> I missed it. Oh, James wants this one, though, because that's a tick on, on his multi. Yeah. Holmes crashing through. Surely he's not got this down. That's a terrible camera angle. Surely he has not got this down. He's on his back there. Oh, it's gone up as a try. So it's gone up as a try. So they need to find clear evidence that it's not scored. Oh, I, don't, I think you have to give this. Um, that's, a, that's, a, that's actually a really tough call when you look at it. You can make an argument for both. It's gone up as a try is the important thing. So there needs to be conclusive evidence to overturn it. I don't think you can say con try confirmed. There's not even any point arguing about it any longer. Yes, there is. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's been confirmed. The Cowboys are back in it. 20 points to 14, kick to come from the try scorer himself. Yeah, I do, I do apologize, Pat. It, um, the last one running running longer. UFC, Pencil Pat's not a footy fan, no, but that's what makes it so enjoyable is the fact that he doesn't understand anything about it, but we still get him to comment on it. It's fantastic. It makes for brilliant commentary. He's going to miss, you reckon? Yeah. 2014, it's a big kick. This would, uh, this would bring it to within a converted try. If he misses it, it stays a converted try. Holmes moves in. Strikes it. It's, he's hooked it wide. And ah. Pencil Pat was correct. He has missed it. The Oracle speaks. I mean, I look wasted. <laughs> he's only just, <laughs> he's only just got, got here. Yeah. Have a swig of this. That'll get you wasted. I'll be right. Huh? I'm not going to drink that out bottle. Basically, a lot of fluid. No? No, thank you. Um, all right. Uh, Just giving up on the coke at this point? No, no, oh, it's still there. Yeah, it's still there. <laughs> Just cut down the extra steps at this point. <laughs> Hook it straight into my veins. Yeah. <laughs> that was ages ago, James. Both. He had both of those. I got two babies. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, it happened twice, didn't it? I almost said three times, but then no, the other one was Doug. Yeah. Doug's right. Yeah. Probably... Sounds really confusing to the chat room. Yeah. <laughs> you, know what you know what I'm saying? Probably really confusing for them. Yeah, that was a while ago, James. But then it's been a while since Pencil Pat's made an appearance, isn't it? Oh, you, you, a few months. A few months? Yeah. Hmm. But it would, have been, it would have been happening around your first appearance, right? The other one popping out? Popping out. He's almost three. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, the channel's been going three years now. <laughs> so, yeah, there you go. Congra you can still say congratulations. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. matter. You can say congratulations late. He was late wishing me a happy birthday. I still can. <laughs> Pat has been busy in the bedroom. <laughs> up over. <laughs> up over. Huh? You were going to. Somebody's got to do it. I was away there. Fair enough. <laughs> Good shape here out to the right for the Eels. Gutherson dummies inside. Goes outside on his own. Fifth and last. 30 metres out from the line. Brown puts it high. Well, if, you're doing, if you're not doing it properly, then yeah. Felt loses it behind him. It's picked up. They should drive him into the end goal here, and it's a result. A result for the Eels. Goal line dropout. Uh, this, this party, party Jesus is going to join us um, a happens. little bit later as well after he's finished doing whatever he's doing. Whatever Party Jesus is do. <laughs> Turn water into wine. Party yeah, see, I don't know. exactly. <laughs> Short drop out is tapped backwards. It pops up and Freddie Lussick's in for a double. Freddie Lussick scores an opportunistic double and the Eels extend their lead. Oh, God bless you, Freddie. His name's not really Freddy, it's just what I call him now. Oh, okay. His name's Joey. Are you still calling Freddy? 
Huh? Yeah. <laughs> well, I said Freddie Lussick accidentally, even though his name's Joey Lussick, and now it just sticks. There's a Fred. Sorry, mate. <laughs> his name is now forever Freddie Lussick. Scores a double. And Parramatta extend their lead with 25 and a half to go. I get that. That's, that, is that, that's a circumstance where you can hit it forward. Well, he didn't hit it forward. It was tapped back by the other team. Well, no, the, well team, no not the blue guy. No, no. It was off oh, white okay, number two. Oh, yeah, okay, no. Sorry. Tapped back. Yep. He was there to collect the loose ball. Oh. Yeah, because Pat, Pat's a Simpsons fan as well, so he might appreciate this. I appreciate it now. What does that remind you of? Like Monty Burns. Exactly. Yeah. Say it louder, yeah. though. Monty Burns? Yeah. Specific Monty Burns episode, though. I don't remember the specific one. I bring you love. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Hang on. This try has not been awarded just yet. Oh. What are we looking at? Looking for somebody offside. I yeah, I think so. That. Maybe this player in the middle of the field in front of the post. It's going to be no try. It's going to be no try. They're taking it off. What the hell has happened here? The try has been taken away. They can't believe it, the Eels. Sorry. A penalty to the Cowboys. Right, not, not only did they lose their try, they also got a penalty. Yeah. That's just a big kick in the balls. It, it really is. <laughs> Offside. Oh, there must have been mere millimetres in that. COVID! Set me on fire. <laughs> no, Brad Arthur is not Captain Kirk. Brad Arthur is Bald Beavis. Bald Beavis, not Bald Beavis, by the way. That sounds like a really cheap hotel room porno. Bald Beavis. Bald Beavis. Like from Beavis, <laughs> from Be Beavis and Butthead. Wow, what a reprieve that was for the Cowboys! And now they've dropped the ball in midfield, and Morgan Harper secures the loose ball. Twenty-five minutes to go. The Eels get the ball back. I can't believe they had that try taken off them. That must have been millimeters, millimeters offside. But they have the ball on halfway anyway. Set restart. Ruck infringement. Pluto backs into the defense. Because he's the size of a planet. Yes. Yep. You got it. Oh, I didn't even need explaining. Ah, huh? how about that, James? That was one of James's nicknames. I think he's a big boy. He is a big, big boy. Bryce Cart right now, 20 meters out from the line. Tackle three. The Eels suddenly. Looking slick in attack, Gutherson. Cut out pass to Harper and Harper drops it. Oh no, Morgan Harper. He'd been doing so well for so long now. The mistake was due and the Disney plus Luigi spills the ball. <laughs> 24 minutes still to go. A long way left in this game, really, in, in, in rugby league time. Scrum down, but the Cowboys under the pump on their own line again, only 10 metres out. It's just so pointless. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it really is. I mean, you've, you've watched uh, all Blacks games with me and everything, like a different sport, but where the scrum is actually like hit, brr, push, push, push. Yeah. Yeah. Robert M, ahoy, mate. How are you, mate? How good were those Broncos last night, huh? Sending the Dolphins back to Redcliffe. In the Battle of Bris Vegas. Fifth and last, Cowboys. Chad puts the ball high. Taken on the wall. Oh, racing through and copying a high shot there with Simonson. Does well to hold his feet. Gutherson appealing for a penalty. Some reprieve. He gets hit high around the face, but he's hurt his leg. Go figure that one out. 
It's offering you $1,000 cash out. What do you need? What's left? What? Oh. What's left? Um, I think Pencil Pat went for the Broncos in that game. Uh, did I? Yes, just say yes. Okay, yeah. Because they won. Yep. They won. Yeah, yep. all right, let's go with that. Yep. Ah, <laughs> oh, you need... Oh, okay, 22 minutes for Kyle Fell. What was the stake? What was your original stake? And what's the potential payout? I'd be pretty tempted to take the $1,000, really. But it depends on the stake and the potential payout. Because 22 minutes for Kyle Felt, who has looked likely all night long, to be fair. Cowboys with the ball back. Last quarter of the game. Oh, fifty dollars. Yeah, Jesus. Um, what's the? But what's the? What's the final payout? I'm leaning towards taking the thousand dollar cash out at this point. What do you reckon? For a fifty dollar yeah, wager. Fifty dollar bet. I mean, like. Ah. Yeah. Uh, oh, two, two and a half thousand. Yeah, I would. T it's like me in the baseball the other week. I took the eight hundred when I had a potential one point five. The 1.5 ended up paying out, but geez, you look at it. You look at it and go, why, why risk it? A thousand bucks. Yeah, it's, like it's a lot of hookers. 20, 20, yeah. I was going to say 20, 20 times your initial investment. But... Well, it's only four hookers, actually. I mean, not that I know the pricing. Sure. <laughs> All the places. Sure. <laughs> Robert M says the stakes were going to see a Rabbitohs coach losing tomorrow. Oh, five hookers in New Zealand. Wow, good pricing over there. I could go with something. Oh, don't leave alone. No? Not, not, <laughs> not going there? <laughs> Your channel's now banned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm t yeah, I'm talking full hour pricing, supposedly. So I've heard. I don't know. <laughs> Between half hour and a full hour? No idea. Oh. I have no concept of time. Fair enough. Where it comes to... Yeah, Fair enough. Hook, hooker o'clock. Yeah, hooker o'clock. <laughs> 20 minutes to go. Fifth and last deals. Put it high. Full hour, what a horn fuck. <laughs> Kyle Felt takes it. Surrenders in the tackle. Cowboys again. 10 metres out from their own line. Lazy Marcus could be penalised. Tal Malolo, the big unit, coming back onto the field. Look at the size of that man. Chester, nowhere to go. This is good defence from the... The Eels have suddenly sprung to life. And there is Tal Malolo, a fresh Jason Tal Malolo. On tackle four. Cashed out. I think that was a good, I think that was a good option. For an extra thousand dollars, it wasn't worth the stress of the last twenty minutes, was it? Take the thousand dollars off a off a fifty dollar stake as this ball bounces into touch from the kick. Parramatta will have it. Nineteen and a half to go. Ming looking very concerned up in the coach's box. Dylan Brown has a was that a spew or spit water out? I think it was spit water out. Oh, it was water. It was water. That's good. We've seen enough spews on the field this year. It has actually happened. Tackled into it. Nah. <laughs> I mean, it, may pr it probably it probably contributes <laughs> in some capacity. Oh, and then you get tackled, you land in it. Oh, That's landed in it. Yeah. Yep. Got your losses back from today's racing plus some. Exactly. See, it makes sense. And even if Kyle Feld scores, you're still up. And at the end of the day, what's the thousand dollars extra? Had you wrote it out and potentially lost it when it's been offered to you? Oh, now space opens up here on the left for the Eels. Oh, Harper go. wrangled in by Kyle Felt. Fifth and last, 10 out. Gutherson goes from dummy half. Links up with Dejon Arcee. And Arcee slides across. Yes, his name's Arcee. And he scores the try, and that puts the Earls ahead further. They can't take this one off them, surely. <laughs> Dejon Arcee puts the Earls ahead by 10. What do you say about that one? 
Parramatta. It's taken some time, but they are finally looking like they're clicking into gear. Gutherson from dummy half links up with Arcee. The Chad had no hope of making that tackle. You'll need my help. What do you need my help for, sir? Try confirmed. I've gone for Parramatta in case you couldn't tell. Ah, yeah. What do you need my help with? A multi for the Sharks game, perhaps. Hey. Twenty four points to fourteen, kick to come. Catch you later, UFC. Enjoy the magic mushrooms, sir. Pencil Patty, you're gonna come out um over the holidays in December, we're gonna go up to the sunny coast and party with UFC. Maybe. Maybe. It's quite it's quite far in advance. It's quite a long way away, it. yeah. Well I thought far far in advance would be better for a family man like yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Mulatalo says Robert Ant. Mulatalo is probably a pretty good, pretty good, um, a pretty good crack. From right beside the post, Gelfenson, he's missed one from similar position earlier. Needs to put this one over. Does so. 26 14. The Eels leading by 12. I would just, yeah. Uh, more of a haircut. <laughs> <laughs> he did miss that kick against the Tigers, but in fair same spot, same spot, but about forty meters further back. In fairness, and um, what's his face? Um, uh, Clemmer jumping up and down, doing star jumps in front of him as well, which I'm really surprised he got away with. But the Tigers deserve to win that match still. It would have been a travesty had he kicked that goal that night, in fairness. Do Souths win? Probably. I have very little faith. Now, I'm like you, James. I've got very little faith in my own team. Every time the Sharks are set up for a game that they surely can't lose, they'll find a way. They'll find a way to Amber Heard the bed and lose it. Up over halfway here. The Eels have got a roll on. RC, the try scorer. Flat pass to Lane. Mel, Canes 36, Chiefs 23. Six minutes left. It seems like the Hurricanes have got the job done there. Fifth and last for the Eels. Brown puts it high. Pressure on the take. What great work by Scott Drinkwater at the back. Fantastic work. Earns a seven tackle set for his team. Robert M says, I believe the Sharks will roll the Bunnies 13+. plus. I wish that I had that level of faith. I really do. I really do wish I had that level of confidence in my own team. Up to halfway here. This is a... Oh, and a six again to boot. Oh, they're not out of this yet, the Cowboys. We could have another blockbuster finish on our hands here. 12 points the difference, 15 minutes to go. I think I just said that. Commentators are repeating me again. Tal Malolo, the big unit, almost busting his way through. Very lucky for the Eels. They had a planet there to meet him, although Pluto's not considered a planet anymore, is it? Ah, uh, dwarf planet. Yeah. It's, so it's they're, trying planet. Just, they're trying hard to justify it yeah. as not okay. being a planet, but the masses don't accept it. Through the hands and the gap opens up for Chester. One to beat. And he's brought down on tackle five. Oh, that was close. His pants have fallen down too. Fifth and last. Numbers to burn out to the left in and just needs to get it there. Fires the cutout pass to Talungi. And Holmes, Valentine Holmes, unmarked and untouched, drops the ball. Immortal Wolf for Hoy, mate. Government Parramatta. Hey, he retracted the message. <laughs> he put cheeky little V got in the end there on the message. Wasn't supposed to be there. There we go. Go Parramatta. Says he bought a war. Oh, did you hear about that shit today in Bondi? What shit? It was a, a stabbing in Bondi. Oh, yeah. yeah. Some guy just went ranking. Yeah. Stabbed went, a whole bunch of people. Bloody crap. A baby. Yeah. 
Jeez. Flash, flash the baby too. Jeez. Bloody hell. Freaking just shoot him, Jack. Unbelievable stuff. 13 minutes to go still, James. I wouldn't be counting the chickens just yet. Very scrappy game, but a win's a win. They haven't won it yet, mate. Two converted tries. 13 minutes is a long time in rugby league. Especially for those of us that aren't fans. <laughs> Poor Pat's just like, 13 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what snowing is that, bro. Fifth and last, the Eels. Looking solid, though, in fairness. The kick is tapped down. Eels have it. Take the fifth and last, and we'll surrender the handover. Was um, so some, something near Gimpy last night? Al Soon? Was Al Soon near Gimpy last night? I don't know where you're up there. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not Al Soon. I don't know. I don't know who Al Soon is. There was a stabbing in Bondi, James. Multiple stabbing victims through a big gap. The Cowboys, Talungi, great tackle one on one by Gutherson, but they're thirty meters out from the line. Oh, a stabbing. Also, one near Gimpy last night. Well, oh, Gimpy. It's yeah. Gimpy. yeah. <laughs> tackle three. The kick in behind. Penasini is going to watch this go over the dead ball line. That was dangerously close, though. Seven oh, tackles. He, set. he made the right call there. He right? did. He absolutely did. He but stood, he, looked, but no. Nah. He was <laughs> he, he was flirting with danger, though. It must be said. It was probably closer than he wanted it to be in the end. The way the ball just sort of popped up. Yeah. Uh, what? And you said to me, "Was I at Bondi today?" I asked. I said. Were you at Bondi today, hoping that the answer was no? I wasn't suggesting that you did it. I suggested that about Michelle, because she's in Sydney at the moment. No, I was asking, like, I hope, I hope you weren't anywhere near it today. That was like a story for you, right? Michelle was the one I took the piss out of and said, were you at Bondi today, Michelle? She said, no, I was nowhere near it. I said, okay, well, there goes one suspect. <laughs> <laughs> and then some snowflake in the chat was like, the streamer keeps making jokes and laughing about the stabbing victims. Like, no, I was taking the piss out of my friend. I wasn't joking about the the scenario. But no, uh, James, I was I was asking in, in hope that you weren't anywhere near what went down. 11 minutes to go in this one, though. 10 metres out from their own line, the Cowboys... Yeah, Bondi Junction Shopping Centre, a Westfield. Crazy stuff. Uh, I, I saw a picture in the headline. Mm. Players on. Player usually keeps on top of that sort of stuff. Like, oh, loose pass out the back. Holmes goes back to retrieve it. Was it touched? No, says the referee. Tackle three here for the Cowboys. Looking very flaky now, the Cows. I don't even look at Facebook. Anything that happens on Facebook, let tells me. Mm. Yeah, fair enough. I'm just detached from all that sort of business, usually. <laughs> James says, oh, loose wow, pass out the back again. The Cowboys it. have got the dropsies. They've got the dropsies here, the Cows. It's like four since I've been. Fifth and last. Chad's going to run it. Fires it loose out the back. They've got to get a kick away here, the Cowboys. Scrappy play. Good hands back inside to Dearden. This could open up. And it does. Tal Lungy down the outside. Drink water in support. Oh, they made him forward. More ass than class. Forget about it. More ass than class. That right there. You wouldn't believe it. They had no right to score that try. They were done. They were dead and buried. Fifth and last. It was going to be a handover on halfway. I think that may have been forward. Well, the thing is, they can't rule on that now. Why? The 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 video referee cannot rule on forward passes. What? No. Not allowed. What's this? This one, this you reckon? One, this yeah. last pass? No, nah, that's oh, fine. Oh, no, it's yeah. not. Sorry, no, I take it back. That was not forward. Mm. More ass than class. The very definition. How have the Cowboys pulled this one off? The tap back to Dearden, and it just opened up. 
Oh, that's unforgivable. If you're Parramatta, that is unforgivable. Try confirmed. It should have been an easy win. Wind down the clock for the Eels, but instead, as Val Holmes converts, there is one converted try the difference between these two teams with nine minutes remaining. I think we're getting an actual air conditioner in here. Yeah. <laughs> Since he spent so much time in here. Yeah. It just seems like an I mean, that one, that one. It's okay, but I mean, I just get a real one. It's like... it, more, it more than does the job, though, that one. But it would, um, it would add, it would certainly add to um, the, the clear direction that I've headed towards with, like, wall mounting everything, wouldn't it? Yeah, cleaning the room <laughs> so, out and stuff. Yeah. Again, yeah. yeah, I wouldn't think about looking at it now. <laughs> no, so, well... I was last here. <laughs> yeah. You can't see what I see, but... Be glad that you don't. No, I'm just kidding. It's, <laughs> no, not that, yeah. it's not that bad. It's not that bad, really. <laughs> it's worse out there. Yeah. I think it was just saw, right? It's yeah. Like, why does it take this tall damn bench? Oh, we'll talk about it after. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I, was just, yeah. I, was, I was like, oh my God. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it after for sure. Now the Cowboys have got their tails up. Eight and a half minutes to go. Six points the difference. Tal Malolo's lost his pants now. Lots of pants falling down out there tonight. Six points the difference. We could have another golden point on our hands here. No, uh, he stuffed it. It was complete more ass than class, DJ Shack. I'm sorry. The very definition of more ass than class. Oh, no. Drinkwater spills it. Us, he's got it. Dummies. He's wrapped up by his opposite, Tom Dearden. But now, advantage Parramatta. Do they set up for a drop goal this far out from the end? Seven minutes. Do they think droppy just to make it nice and secure? Who have they got to take the drop goal, though? That's the thing. It'd have to be Dylan Brown, I'd say. Or Gutherson. There's Gutherson organizing the troops. No, sorry, Robert M. Um, one thing that I've always said, I was talking about it earlier. Well, let's let this play out first before I get into it. There is Dylan Brown. Now the back to Arcee. Loose pass picked up by Harper. They've still got it. The Eels. Harper oh. swings away from one. Tackle four. Seven minutes left. Passing that would have been painful. It's painful You're experience. Right. Little footsies is fine. Regan two dads goes to ground here they go they're setting up the droppy surely who's in the pocket who's in the pocket nobody they're not thinking drop goal Brown grubbers into the end goal Val Holmes collects it and he's wrangled and taken over the dead ball line for a goal line dropout they're not interested in the one the Eels oh, they take that shirt to the Kevlar or what they want like, to, they're strong enough to, to drag to a man that size around with <laughs> It's pretty yeah, strong. pretty strong fabrics. Yeah. Cowboys go short with the restart. It's taken down. Morgan Harper gets up. He's oh. still going, Harper. Chester dives on him. At that point, he landed just sort of just like, ah. Just starts yeah, swimming towards the line. Pretty much. That's what I was thinking. This is Parramatta's to lose now, surely. Six minutes to go. Six points the difference. They've got to be thinking drop goal. Regan two dads backs into the defense. Five meters out, tackle three from dummy half goes. Freddie Lussick reaches oh, out. He's so close. He's oh, just no, short. He get it. He's short by like an inch. So what? It's just short. What They're gonna have a look. For? They're gonna have a look. They're just gonna no, confirm. He, he didn't get that. No way. Sorry about that, Mel. Uh, Streamlabs is very very hardcore. There's obviously a. Uh, that you've obviously uh, put a full stop in there somewhere without a space, and it's thought that it was a link. Yeah, and uh, yes, <laughs> yes. Sorry about that, Mel. Streamlabs is Hang very on. hardcore. Streamlabs oh. very hardcore with the links. Uh, oh no. no, no. I think he's short. Reaches think... out, reaches out, reaches out. Oh, and has he lost it? Oh, it's on the line. It touches the it line. Touch it touches the line. It's touched the line. I don't think it's going to be given, though. I mean, there's got to be... It, it, it's got to be 100% certainty to overturn it, and I don't think that you can say well, that. Well, I didn't call try. He just called video check. Mm. Sorry. Yeah, he didn't give anything, anything, did he? Yeah, he didn't give anything, did he? So, yeah, this will be no try. But Parramatta retained possession. Two tackles left. They're a metre short. 
looking to put this game to bed. A try would do it. Uh, I think a drop goal would do it too, in all honesty. And back they go. In the pocket is Gutherson. Shapes to kick. They race up on him. And he's taken for tackle five. Okay, where's Dylan Brown? Look for the number seven. Where is he? They're in the pocket. Terrible pass. Horrible service. And now the Eels are forced to run. Arcee puts the chip in over the top. And it bounces up for Kyle Felt. And the Cowboys have it. And they stay alive. Five and a half minutes left. One try. One converted Ooh, try. Jeez. Stop that guy dead. They have to go the length of the field, though, the Cowboys. Talungi. They're 20 minutes out from their own line. They're a long way from where they need to be. Can they get up the other end? They've already done it once. Oh, boy. Whew. Five minutes left. The Chad out the back of shape to drink water. They've got numbers. Chester looks to put oh. the kick in. It's been tapped down. It'll be six more tackles. Oh, no. That was the worst possible result for the Eels. Six more tackles here for the Cowboys. I can't look. Cletus takes it to ground. 25 out. They've got a full set of six here, and they've lost the ball. Parramatta have it. Parramatta have secured it with four and a half. You're starting to get all excited. It's like, oh my God! <laughs> four and a half minutes to go. Morgan Harper's up and goes again. Sports Vault AU. Awesome games today. Oh man, this is crazy. Right now, Dan Tart's going. <laughs> Oh, I went the upset. I've gone for the Eels. They, they, they shouldn't have won this game. I went the upset right before kickoff. I changed my tip and went the Eels. Just had a feeling. I've got four minutes to be proven right <laughs> for the first time all year. Be proven right. When Dan gets excited, the bandana changes color. Yeah. <laughs> How funny would that be? Straight get? through the gap goes Dylan Getting Brown. <laughs> Wrapped up on the fifth and last, he'll be told to go back to the mark here. Three and a half minutes left, fifth and last. Oh, he didn't get told. They, oh, he didn't. He kept the space. Out. Dejon Arcee with the drop goal puts it through. And Parramatta have surely won this game now. Three and a half minutes to go. Seven point lead. I would laugh if they lost. <laughs> I would kick you out of the house. <laughs> what? There would be... <laughs> There will be no catch-ups. I would throw you out on your ass. <laughs> it would so be worth it, though. Like, after all that, it's like, oh, yeah. I just pull it all together in the last few seconds. Three and a half minutes to go. Dejon Arcee. Pure class. I've got a T-shirt that says more ass than class, but that was pure, pure class. Pure RC. Short kickoff here for the Cowboys. Oh, Jesus Christ. And Parramatta have it. Bailey Simonson takes the ball from the kickoff. Three minutes for Parramatta to just control the flow of this game now and steal the upset victory and extend my lead in the tipping contest over UFC. <laughs> the most important part. The most important <laughs> part for sure. He started it, not me. Take it up with him. Fair enough. <laughs> Tackle three here, the Eels. Dummy from, who's that? Jermaine Hopgood. Takes tackle four. 27 20. Two and a half minutes left. Off a hang, Galway. Takes tackle five. What are they going to do He's here? Very steady on his feet, the big guy. What will they do here? Fifth and last. Brown runs it straight through. Links up with Gutherson. Support from the opposition. And they have the ball here, the Cowboys. Dead and fires it across the face of post. Dangerous pass. And the Chad is taken a meter short from his own try line. The Cowboys have got two minutes to go the length of the field to score a converted try, get the ball back, get down there again and score more points. Surely not. Surely not. And also, most importantly, we just, uh, well, I can't say we earned James $1,000 uh, because he did it himself, but we talked him into the cash out and he's got $1,000. And the Cowboys spill the ball, and that'll be the game. That will be the match. 
A minute and a half to go by the time they're scrum packs. A minute and a half and Parramatta will have the ball and they can just run down the clock with this set. They've captains challenged it, the, the Cowboys, but it was a clear knock on. It was a clear knock on here from Dearden. Right there, it's off his arm. Oh, they claim, they're probably claiming it's gone backwards. I think it's gone backwards. Yeah, no, it's gone backwards. Ah, uh, that was a knock on. That right? was a knock on by the Eels, but yeah. was it a knock on by the Cowboys first? I don't think so. Yes, it was. You reckon? Yeah. Well, uh, it's been called. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. All right. Well, I hear Kerry. You're asking what you do. Well, <laughs> I thought, but I'm yeah. biased. Yeah. <laughs> I'm incredibly biased. We all know that. And the TMO obviously agrees. Oh. One minute, 24 seconds to go. The clock continues to tick. Now for a pointless big man hug. Surely the Eels have pulled it off. The upset that I tipped. Me. Calm down now. <laughs> <laughs> Notice this. Ahoy there. Who's the white lord on the left with no hair? Oh. <laughs> wouldn't go that far. <laughs> you do kind of look like you're straight out of Breaking Bad. <laughs> oh, what, what with my uh, Marvel crown. <laughs> UFC went for the Cowboys, Robert M. And he he had he got very lippy in the pregame. He's like, Dan, you really went for the Eels? Yes, I'm closing the gap on you in the tipping contest. He says. He got very lippy, and now the Eels have won. God bless them. 20 seconds left. Tackle four in midfield. Nothing stupid needed here. Jermaine Hopgood just goes to ground, takes the hit. 12 seconds left. Fifth and last. They just surrender in the tackle. Two seconds. One second. No seconds. Victory for Parramatta. How about that, James? How about that, Heel Fries? What a victory. What a performance at home. Massive win for the Eels. 27 points to 20. This is what I was talking about. The Cowboys have no defense to speak of. The Cowboys rely on saying, um, uh, we're happy... We're happy to give away 30 points, uh, just to, for example. They didn't score 30 tonight, but I'm just saying the Cowboys' mindset has seemed to be all year. You score 20, we'll score 21. They're not worried about tackling and stopping the uh, the tries from happening in the first place, like most teams. Sorry, I just spat everywhere. I got way too excited. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it got you. It no, I didn't. went that way. So that's been the Cowboys' mentality this season. You score 20, we'll score 21. They haven't fixed their defense up. They got found out tonight. The Eels actually buckled down and got the job done. The Cowboys scored 20. The Eels scored 27. And that's where that whole mindset comes back to, to bite you in the arsey, in the Dejon arsey. They did get Dejon arsey tonight. Dejon arsey proved himself. I'll stop saying arsey soon, I promise. But it's his, actually, it's, his, it's his name. I can't help it. I have to say it. <laughs> All right. Wasted World of Sports. What a great couple of games. What a great couple of games this has been. 22 all. Warriors Manly in the game prior. 27-20 here. The Eels with the victory over North Queensland. Uh, now, Robert M., back to, back to your thing. Um... No, I won't be doing the the Sharks Rabbitohs game, which is coming up next. I um I pretty much made a promise to myself that, uh, and I was talking about this earlier, but I made a promise to myself that uh, no matter no matter where this channel goes, whether it continues to grow and gets big, or whether it stays where it's at, no matter what, big, small, popular, not popular, whatever, I've always said that I will always find time for friends and family. Because I think that's very important, and I don't say that as a—it's not a, a, a 
a, a sweet moment because my friend is here right now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it can be, but it's not meant to be because I talked about it earlier as well. <laughs> friends and family are very important and you've always got to make time for your friends and family above all else. So I always made that promise to myself that no matter where things got with Waste of Water Sports, I will always have time for friends and family and that's what's happening tonight. Pencil Pat wants to catch up. Um, it was very unexpected. It was only because the last game went into extra time that this has even happened. He, he, he wasn't even supposed to be streaming tonight. But it's always great for a Pencil Pat cameo <laughs> on the channel. Everyone loves it. So The man with the marble crown. <laughs> yes, the, <laughs> the great white lord with the marble crown. The great crown. white lord. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, that's uh, we're going to have a catch-up. Uh, Party Jesus might be here, actually. It sounds like there's some activity out the front. So... Alarm hasn't gone off yet. Waste of Sports, thank you so much for joining me for this one. I'll be back uh, I'll be back tomorrow. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to be doing the UFC fights tomorrow. I still haven't decided on that, but either way, we'll be back for something tomorrow. Thank you so much for your company, as always. Very much appreciate it. Uh, not much of a post game. Oh, it is, Jamie. There you Oi. go. <laughs> Dead. There we go. The... Uh, the third of the three amigos has arrived. Oi. Who were you going for in this one? Uh, Cowboys. Up. Cowboys. Ah, sucked in. Um, oh, they lose. Yeah, they did. Oh, no. <laughs> 27-20, Parramatta oh. won. Get that up, yeah, Cowboys supporter. Do you go for the Cowboys, do you? Well, oh, because you're a Bundy boy. Yeah, out of the So league, that's, so yeah. Anyway. It's like, I think it's all night now. <laughs> He's a Bundy boy. I haven't, I haven't seen it since the end of the first half. Probably a good thing <laughs> <laughs> because they were atrocious. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Until then, cheers. Wasted world of sports, eh? Oh, he's copped a head right to the nuts. Tedesco's butt crack. Ahoy! He's nearly taken security's head off. I have no idea what the wasted world of sports is.